so as i have earlier said that the most important topic from where the upsc is asking question yes good evening <coughs> this is climatology part okay and yes first of all let's see the nature of question that upsc has asked till the date and i have added some mcqs here like this one which one of the following reflects back more sunlight as compared to other three so it is talking about the albedo of different land surfaces right so <clears throat> there are different land surfaces mentioned and which uh, one of the following reflects back more sunlight you can see that although we need not to remember all those surfaces and we know that the most of the or most reflectivity is from the fresh snow we read this in ncert or any standard reference book baki ka aapko pata bhi nahi ho to theek hai you can understand that the fresh snow is having maximum albedo right or the other questions yes so it is talking about either of the two belts over the oceans at about 30 to 35 north south latitude are known as horse latitude horse latitudes are of low pressure belt now we learn about horse latitudes they are, this is correct right but whether they are low pressure or high pressure they are a high pressure we will learn about it why they are called as horse latitude all these things there is story behind it i am just giving you idea about the nature of questions main reasons for the formation of african desert belt okay so one statement it is talking it is located in subtropical high pressure belt other under the influence of warm ocean current we learn about this now upsc has asked many times this question am i not audible okay yes okay okay Let, let's continue so yes even in mains examination upsc has asked this question in 2013 very basic that why uh deserts are located in the tropical belt and that too along the western margins of the continents along the tropics theek hai so yes it's not under the influence of warm rather it is under the influence of cold current first statement is correct so you can see that the questions are applied in nature we know the concept but we have to apply that concept to arrive at the right answer now why are the dew drops not form on the cloudy night can we attempt this question thoda recent wala hai 2019 ka to yes <clears throat> dew drops are not form on a cloudy night yes very simple clouds reflect back the earth's radiation theek hai aur isliye jo bhi atmosphere hai wo warm rehta hai wo kya hai warm reh jata hai and because of that we can say that during cloudy night it is not forming dew drop dew drops are formed when there is loss of heat from the atmosphere excess heat is lost and that is lost during the winter ठीक है तो विंटर वी डू नॉट हैव क्लाउड क्लाउडी नाइट्स राधर दे आर क्लाउडलेस नाइट्स लॉन्ग विंटर नाइट्स देर वी हैव ड्यू ड्रॉप फॉर्मेशन नाउ रोटेशन ऑफ अर्थ कोरियोलिस इफेक्ट वील लर्न अबाउट दिस इन टू डेज सेशन ठीक है कोरियोलिस इफेक्ट रोटेशन ऑफ अर्थ वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन now it is it is not relevant here this is not relevant question here we can say that now look at this local winds and the regions local winds and the regions hmm b or d yes fawn fawn it's not in argentina right ठीक है तो अब आपको पता है फोन कहां पे एल्प्स में 
तो इससे आपने बोला ये बी और डी है राइट वॉट अबाउट द अदर्स सी सेंटा आना वेरी मच फेमस इन कैलिफोर्निया ठीक है वार्म विंड्स होते हैं सेंटा आना और वहां पे बहुत हार्श क्लाइमेट क्रिएट कर देते हैं ओके सो सी जो है तीन है तो वहां से एलिमिनेट हो गया आंसर बी आ गया हमें झोंडा सरमोन मे बी यू मे नॉट बी नोइंग अबाउट दिस बट आंसर मुझे मिल गया है करेक्ट आंसर दिस इज हाउ वी कैन यूज द एलिमिनेशन मेथड विल सी ऑल दो इंपॉर्टेंट लोकल विंड्स ऑन द मैप इन टूडे सेशन एज वी आर गोइंग टू डील एवरी फेनोमिन दैट इज रिलेटेड टू विंड तो क्लाइमेट वाला भी थोड़ा सा रिवाइज कर लेंगे ओके रोरिंग फोर्टीज यस रोरिज फो रोरिंग फोर्टीज फ्यूरियस फिफ्टीज एंड श्रीकिंग सिक्सटीज ये किस विंड्स को नाम दिया जाता है विल सी इन द जनरल सर्कुलेशन पैटर्न विंड सर्कुलेशन पैटर्न दैट वी लर्न और सिंपली वी कैन से दैट द ट्राई सिल्लर मॉडल ऑफ सर्कुलेशन ऑफ विंड्स ठीक है सो विल अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम देयर वॉट आर फ्यूरियस फोर्टीज ये सारी चीजें ओके लेयर्स ऑफ द अर्थ एटमोस्फेयर कॉल्ड एज आइनोस्फेयर फैसिलिटेट द कम्युनिकेशन वाई रेडियो वेव है वेरी लॉन्ग वेव लेंथ शॉर्ट वेव लेंथ होता है रेडियो वेव का लॉन्ग वेव लेंथ होता है ना सी शॉर्ट वेव लेंथ मीन्स हाई फ्रिक्वेंसी हाई फ्रिक्वेंसी कहां होता है बियॉन्ड द विजिबल स्पेक्ट्रम लाइक गैमा रेज एक्स रेज उनका शॉर्ट वेव लेंथ होता है रेडियो वेव जो होते हैं उनका वेव लेंथ ज्यादा होता है तो इसलिए तो वहां तक पहुंच के वो रिफ्लेक्ट करते हैं ओके सो ये सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट हेयर ओजोन लेयर का कोई रिलेशन नहीं है यहाँ पे राइट वाई डू वी एक्सपीरियंस हाइस्ट टेम्परेचर इन सब ट्रॉपिकल रीजन दैट इक्वेटर रीजन Than, than होना चाहिए वो दैट नहीं ठीक है हायर टेम्परेचर इन सब ट्रॉपिकल रीजन दैन इक्वेटर रीजन यस Yes, first option. It is not having clouds, no. High pressure belt है. So there is wind is subsiding down. There is no upward movement of wind to form the clouds. So no clouds. What what we see here in equator region, although there is more insulation, but there is also cloud formation, right? So it restricts the total solar radiation reaching on the ground because of cloud formation there. and generally and also there is rainfall theek hai jo clouds formation ho raha hai to usse wo cool kar deta hai temperature moderate kar deta hai so that's why higher temperatures are there in subtropical region as compared to equator region find some of the examples i wanted to show here now let's understand from the start what we are going to discuss in this session Earth's atmosphere factors affecting temperature distribution, heat budget, general wind circulation, local winds. Thereafter, we'll see the cyclone, air mass. Thereafter, extra tropical cyclone, and all associated phenomena simultaneously. Okay, and in tomorrow's session, we have separately uh, divided this climatic phenomena, contemporary climatic phenomena like El Nino, La Nina, and all those phenomena. स्पेशली हमने उसको साइड में किया क्योंकि वो एक कॉन्सेप्चुअली ही डिफरेंट हम बोल सकते हैं और स्टूडेंट्स uh, को समझने में मुश्किल होता है दिस इज गिवन इन एनसीआर और वी लर्न दिस इन स्टैंडर्ड रेफरेंस मटेरियल ओके सो यस लेट अस स्टार्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड द इवोल्यूशन ऑफ प्रेजेंट एटमोस्फियर राइट सो द प्रेजेंट एटमोस्फियर इज कंप्लीटली डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द अर्लियर एटमोस्फियर दैट वॉज प्रेजेंट राइट अर्लियर there was more we can say that presence of hydrogen and helium in the atmosphere which was completely different from the present day composition of the atmosphere 
Now, what happened is the earlier or we call it as a primordial atmosphere that was completely wiped out because of solar storms, because of solar storms. Okay, so these solar winds or solar storms wiped out all the primordial atmosphere of the terrestrial planets and earth is one of them, right? Terrestrial planets, mein kaun se kaun se aate? terrestrial planets, rocky planets, right? So, Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars, right? So, their atmosphere is wiped out by the strong solar winds. And now, the new atmosphere that is being formed here because of certain processes. The first process is degassing. Okay, process of degassing. Now, as the Earth was getting cooled from its surface, there was the, the gases coming out from the interior of the earth. Okay, this is, this is the phenomenon of degassing. As the earth was cooling down, there was removal of gases from the interior. And those gases contributed to the formation of present atmosphere. Along with that, there was extensive volcanic activity going on. Okay, cooling ho raha tha, uske saath saath mein volcanic activity bhi ho raha tha. And because of that also, several gases were emitted along with water vapor. Along with water vapor. So, contribution of water vapor in our atmosphere largely from volcanic eruption. Okay. And this particular atmosphere was now moderated when the life started began. Uh, uh, let's say evolving on the earth's surface. Now, when we say life, first of all, we know that the plant community flooded on the earth's surface and that started giving out oxygen through photosynthesis process. Okay. This is how the oxygen got added into our atmosphere and this oxygen led to flourishing of the animals, we can say. First came the microorganisms, then we can say that the single celled animals and uh, the multicellular organisms, oceans se shuru hua life, then it came on the, we can say terrestrial life. This is how the evolution happened. Understood? So, the present day composition of the atmosphere is influenced by these three processes or this is how the present day atmosphere is formed. We learn this in NCRT. Shurvat ke hi kuch chapters mein unho ne explain kiya hua hai. Right. Now. <coughs> okay. The composition of atmosphere at present. Ye bhi poocha hai pahle past mein UPC ne. Now we all know that the nitrogen is having the maximum percentage. Thereafter the oxygen. Kitna percentage hai? Yes. Uh, 25. Se Haan, 71 nitrogen. 21 oxygen and remaining 1% mein hi baaki ke hai agar usko bhi hum dekhte hai to kya hai carbon dioxide argon neon aise sequence mein yaad rakhna hai okay so uh, nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide argon neon hmm nahi third number pe na acha to kya hai third number pe kaun sa gas hai Okay, argon hai kya percentage? I think so, the argon is one number. Acha, let me check this. Can, can, can anyone confirm this? 0.03 to CO2 ka hai. Thik hai? 9.3. Haan. Yes, nitrogen, oxygen, argon, 0 0.93 is argon. Right, right, that is correct. And thereafter, yes, so, yes, there is this water also, then carbon dioxide and then neon. Carbon dioxide, 0 0.0397 percent. And then neon, usse bhi kam hai, uske baad helium hai. Yes, so gases, thereafter, Yes, water vapor is important component of our atmosphere 
and you should know that water vapor is largely concentrated lower atmosphere around 90% of the water vapor is up to 5 km of height and climatically very significant we can say that gas water vapor because most of the the atmospheric stability and instability wala jo aspect aata hai water vapor influence karta hai thereafter the dust particles are important part of we can say atmosphere and they also influence various phenomena for example the sunlight is scattered reflected back into that we can say space other important phenomenon they act as a hygroscopic nuclei thereafter the condensation and precipitation is happening because of dust particles understood so these are the important or uh, significance of dust particles and they are important part of our we can say atmosphere and most of the dust particles again are located in the lower atmosphere okay now the composition of our atmosphere can be understood from the डायग्राम एनसीआरटी में जो डायग्राम दिया हुआ है स्ट्रक्चर सॉरी नॉट कंपोजिशन कंपोजिशन अभी हमने देखा सो so, स्ट्रक्चर इसमें क्या समझना है वी शुड अंडरस्टैंड दैट हाउ टेंपरेचर इज डिक्रीजिंग इंक्रीजिंग इन डिफरेंट लेयर्स सो देयर आर अप्रोक्सिमेटली फोर और फाइव लेयर्स वी कैन डिवाइड द एटमॉस्फेयर ओके ट्रोपोस्फेयर स्ट्रेटोस्फेयर मिजोस्फेयर थर्मोस्फेयर एंड एक्सोस्फेयर अंडरस्टूड now what happens is as we move up in the atmosphere in the troposphere the temperature is declining the temperature is declining ab isko kya bola gaya hai lapse rate okay and what is this lapse rate 6.5 degree celsius per 1 km 6.5 degree celsius per 1 km and this is there in troposphere we are talking now this troposphere on an average it is given that it is 17 km but it is 17 km in equatorial region and 7 to 8 km height in polar region now why this difference upc will ask this one why there is a larger thickness of troposphere in equatorial region and comparatively lesser thickness of troposphere in the polar region because of the uh, heating yes heating usse kya hota hai jo hota hai ki sir energy aur ye polar mein wo upar tak zyada nahi ja pa raha hai hum aap upar tak ja raha hai yes so more insulation is received in the equatorial region and because of that the convection of the air is there convection ki wajah se kya hota hai wind jo hai upar tak ja raha hai bahut right so whatever the atmospheric activities that are happening in a troposphere they are far height at a far altitude we can say so 17 km height troposphere ka jo hai equator mein hota hai and in polar region comparatively lower temperatures are there the wind is subsiding down and because of that the thickness of troposphere is less comparatively 7 to 8 km understood ओके इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट साइमल्टेनियसली आपने पूछना है आपने जो पढ़ाई की हुई है वट एवर यू हैव रेड रेफरेंस बुक्स एनसीआर इफ यू हैव डाउट यू आर साइमल्टेनियसली रिलेटेड टू दैट कॉन्सेप्ट नाउ अबाउट ट्रोपोस्फेयर देर इज स्ट्रेटोस्फेयर नाउ इन स्ट्रेटोस्फेयर द इंपॉर्टेंट लेयर ऑफ गैस दैट इज ओजोन इज प्रेजेंट ओके नाउ ओजोन layer is important why because it is absorbing harmful uv rays coming from the incoming solar radiations that's why it is very important and it is located where in stratosphere this is very simple it has been asked in the examination already now the stratosphere extends up to 50 and the temperature in stratosphere is increasing as there is increasing in height ये आपको पता होना चाहिए टिल द ट्रोपोस्फेयर इट वॉज डिक्रीजिंग यू कैन सी दैट एट द ट्रोपो पॉज देर इज माइनस फिफ्टी सिक्सटी डिग्री सेल्सियस सो इट इज फॉलोइंग बिलो जीरो नाउ इन स्ट्रेटोस एट द स्ट्रेटोस पॉज इट इज ऑलमोस्ट बिकमिंग जीरो अगेन 
Now, why there is increase in the temperature in stratosphere? Hmm. Very good. So, ozone layer is absorbing those UV rays. No, that's why its temperature is increasing. Ye reason hai pe. Now, again, as we cross stratosphere beyond 50 kilometer, iska height jo hai 50 kilometer. Now, beyond that, there is mesosphere. Okay, beyond that, there is mesosphere. And mesosphere is extending up to 80 kilometer. And here again, the temperature is falling at a very faster rate, even below minus 80 degrees Celsius. Now, this mesosphere is the area, a region, wherein all the meteors that are coming inside the Earth's atmosphere, they are burning up due to huge amount of friction exerted by this particular layer. Okay. Whatever the meteors or the extraterrestrial material is coming inside the Earth's atmosphere, as it reaches to the mesosphere, here it is burning up. So, whatever the meteor showers that we see, no. ठीक है तो वो यहां पे हो रहा है फेनोमेनॉन मिजोस्फेयर में फाइन नाउ एज वी मूव अप इन द थर्मोस्फेयर देयर वी हैव वी कैन डिवाइड द थर्मोस्फेयर एज अ पार्ट ऑफ वी कैन से आइनोस्फेयर आल्सो ठीक है सो यहां पे थर्मोस्फेयर नाम ही इसलिए गया है कि यहां से अभी टेंपरेचर बढ़ते जाएगा ओके द टेंपरेचर इज गोइंग टू इंक्रीज कंटीन्यूअसली एज वी मूव अप Beyond the thermosphere also, exosphere is there. Okay, so ionosphere is located there in thermosphere and ionosphere is important for communication purpose. As it reflects back, reflect back the, the long wave radio waves. Okay, radio waves. They are having low frequency but long wavelength. Okay, so that's long wave bol rahe and they are important for communication purpose. So, what is happening? Communication ka kya hota hai? Samjho, India mein humne ek tower lagaya hua hai. Yaha par ek dousre country mein ek tower lagaya hua hai. Through this tower, we are sending the signal. It is reaching to the satellite. Or simply we can say, before satellite, it is reaching to this ionosphere region. And then it is reflected back and it is received by the other station in other space. Radio pahle chalte the na, radio wale. ठीक है एक पर्टिकुलर फ्रीक्वेंसी पे ही हम गाने सुनते थे एफएम या फिर कोई भी जो हो बेसिकली दिस स्टेशन इज सेंडिंग दोस सिग्नल्स एट दैट पर्टिकुलर फ्रीक्वेंसी दोस वेव्स आर गोइंग इन द आयनोस्फेयर एंड दे आर रिफ्लेक्टेड बैग एंड दिस इज रिसीविंग ओनली वेव्स ऑफ दोस फ्रीक्वेंसीज दिस इज हाउ इट इज वर्क ionosphere and this is the significance. You need to know the thickness, the temperature differences, how they are increasing, decreasing and why they are increasing, decreasing and the, the economic significance, human significance like stratosphere, protective layer or mesosphere, protective layer, meteors are getting burned or this ionosphere, communication purpose. Question jo bhi aayega, wo isi se ghoom aayega. Now, stratosphere is most, uh, sorry, not stratosphere, troposphere is meteorologically most significant layer. Why? Yes, what kind of activities? Meteorological activities. Okay, so it is atmospheric instability, condensation, precipitation and the rainfall and the snowfall or the formation of cyclones or let's say uh, the thunderstorm, everything is happening in troposphere. So that's why we call it as a meteorologically significant, most significant, we can say layer. Understood? Ye to mains mein poochha jata hai generally as a question. But yes, it can be asked in the uh, prelims examination also assertion reason kind of question. Understood? Okay. Now, moving on. Yes, factors affecting temperature distribution. So, yes, we learn about all these factors. One by one, quickly we will revise this. Okay. <clears throat> the most important factor for distribution is latitude. 
okay so where is latitude theek hai angle of incidence it shows the latitude aspect right so angle of incidence jaise hum equator pe baat karte hain sun rays are coming like this suppose it is visible right online students now when the angle of incidence at equator when we are talking here so angle of incidence it is perpendicular it's 90 degree okay and therefore the sun rays are penetrating very less thickness of atmosphere they are penetrating very less thickness of the atmosphere and that's why they are getting scattered less as compared to these rays as they are passing through the atmosphere to the larger distances although the angle of incidence is less so that means the amount of heat received per square meter is more near the equator as compared to the polar region again i am repeating the amount of solar insulation received per square kilometer or meter is more near the equator as compared to polar areas the reason is the solar rays are perpendicular near the equator while they are oblique near the polar region okay so there can be again assertion region type of question and because of this only we have the equator and the tropical region as surplus heat region Uh, as compared to we can say 40 degree and beyond latitudes where we have deficit region where we have deficit region we we'll learn this in heat budget now this is one of the factor and that's why more temperatures are observed near the equator or in tropics as compared to subtropics and polar region now the next factor is we can say that <coughs> okay so yes duration of sunshine duration of sunshine now this duration is getting influenced because of which reason the reason is it is tilted tilted axis of rotation and because of that we have seasons okay because of that we have seasons one more reason is that revolution in a elliptical manner now when we are saying that it is tilted like this now what we observe is the sun rays are falling like this and if suppose the present month is taken winter is winter is going on or usse kya hum bol sakte hai ki northern hemisphere is experiencing less amount of we can say that sunshine duration of sunshine yahan pe kya ho raha hai delhi mein abhi 4 5 baj gaye raat ho ja rahi hai hai na to duration of sunshine kam ho gaya na but duration of sunshine is more now in southern hemisphere as the summer is going on there now more the duration of sunshine more heat is received more temperature this is how we should understand then sun's distance from the earth how it is decided revolution revolution of earth around the sun and it is happening in elliptical manner in a elliptical manner now here do two important concepts or terminologies we should understand so i will write here ठीक है ऐसे साइड में करता हूं देन आई विल राइट हियर ओके सो सन्स डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द अर्थ सो आई विल ड्रॉ दिस लाइक दिस ठीक है ये हो गया आपका इलिप्टिकल पाथ नाउ द सन इज लोकेटेड एट वन ऑफ द फोसा ऑफ दिस इलिप्स ठीक है समझो यहां पे सन है नाउ अर्थ इज एट डिफरेंट लोकेशंस 
positions and it is revolving around the sun this is sun this is earth okay and there are different positions like this this is axis axis of rotation okay now see here when we say that earth is located near the sun in this position this is called as aphelion this position is called as aphelion now you tell me in aphelion position what we have the southern hemisphere is more exposed towards the sun that means in southern hemisphere the summer is going on jo abhi ka time period hai theek hai to 23rd december we can say that the aphelion position at that time right sabse nazdik hai to aapko ye bhi to samajhna chahiye na ki agar sabse nazdik hai to sabse zyada solar insulation aayega yes solar insulation is coming but it is accumulated in southern hemisphere and southern hemisphere is not having land more land as compared to ocean northern hemisphere is having more land as compared to ocean right so oceans are slowly heated and slowly cooled so they are not absorbing much of the insulation they are receiving that's why earth is not getting much heated even during the winters are going on at present ya yeah, summer southern hemisphere mein chal raha hai now the case you can see exactly opposite here this position is called as perihelion ulta bola hai kya maine barabar hai kya hmm peri is longer distance मेरे दिमाग में तो मैं ये फिक्स करके रखता हूं ठीक है पेरी मतलब लॉन्गर डिस्टेंस प्लीज करेक्ट मी इफ आई एम रॉन्ग ठीक है अगर uh, सही है तो ये सही है ये भी कंफर्म करो ठीक है बिकॉज दिस इज अगेन वी टॉक अबाउट मून्स रिवोल्यूशन अराउंड द अर्थ आल्सो सिमिलर टर्म्स आर देयर नाउ हियर व्हाट वी ऑब्जर्व इज नदर हेमिस्फेयर इज एक्सपोज मोर टू द सन राइट and there the summer is going on to yahan pe to hum longer distance pe hai sun se but still the summer is going on in the northern hemisphere try to understand this agar ye position yahan pe hoti na to earth ke atmosphere ke temperature bahut zyada hote are you getting this this is position in june month okay so there we have what we have Uh, what we can say <coughs> the summer peak summer is going on in northern hemisphere at that time okay th this is the situation and now you tell me how this distance from the earth is affecting at this position northern hemisphere are having more temperatures at this position the southern hemisphere are having more this position is influencing those temperatures theek hai so this concept you should understand then thereafter the aspects of slope yahan pe yahan pe moderate rahega kaun sa nahi nahi ye equinox wala hai na मॉडरेट वाला मॉडरेट इक्विनॉक्स मॉडरेट मॉडरेट ओके यस यस अप हेलियन इज द फार्देस्ट यही मैं कंफ्यूज हो रहा था ठीक है तो वन स्टूडेंट हैज कंफर्म यस ये अप हेलियन फार्देस्ट है एंड पेरी हेलियन यस पार्डन मी वी हैव टू करेक्ट दिस अप हेलियन इज द फार्देस्ट वन पेरी हेलियन ठीक है सो हा यस पेरी हेलियन शॉर्टर है और अप हेलियन इज द लार्जर डिस्टेंस लॉन्गर डिस्टेंस यस यस नाउ द सन सॉरी एस्पेक्ट ऑफ स्लोप द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ओके एस्पेक्ट ऑफ स्लोप वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट वॉट एवर द लैंड फॉर्म्स दैट वी हैव दिस इज द माउंटेन रीजन 
and suppose the sun is on this side. Now this slope is more exposed to the sun rays compared to this one. India may example southern slopes of Himalayas are more exposed to the sunlight as compared to northern. So that's why the southern slopes have more temperature compared to the northern slopes. Aspects of slope. Very simple. Now altitude. Now we know that as we move up in the atmosphere the temperature goes on decreasing. The lapse rate we call it as normal lapse rate 6.5 degrees Celsius per kilometer. Now this thing you should understand that the atmosphere goes on becoming rarer as we move up. Okay, And because of that the temperature is falling. More pressure is present at or near the earth surface as compared to the upper distances. Pressure is high and because of that temperature is maintained here. Upper jayenge, pressure kam ho jayega, temperature bhi kam ho jayega. Okay, so this aspect and along with that you should understand the earth's atmosphere is getting heated because of terrestrial radiation. And now the terrestrial radiation is from the earth's surface, right? So that's why the atmospheric layer which is in touch with the earth's surface is getting heated more. That's why more temperatures near the earth's surface and it goes on decreasing towards the ठीक है जितना ज्यादा कन्वेक्शन होगा उतना टेंपरेचर ऊपर बढ़ेगा बट हम देखते हैं कि एटमॉस्फेयर में हीट लॉस हो जाता है जैसे जैसे हम मूव कर रहे ओके सो मेन रीजन इज दिस वन टेरेस्ट्रियल रेडिएशन राइट नाउ ओशन करंट्स यस ऑफ कोर्स द वार्म ओशन करंट्स देयर विल हैव मोर टेंपरेचर्स एंड कोल्ड ओशन करंट अगर जा रहा है तो वहां पे कोस्टल एरिया में will have lesser temperature and yes we learn about the ocean currents generally jo cold ocean currents hota hai wahan pe kya hota hai cooler temperatures are there that's why it promotes the atmospheric stability the wind is not moving up that's why it is not forming the clouds or there is no precipitation this is called as atmospheric stability the wind is subsiding down and staying near the ground this is called as atmospheric stability when the wind is moving up continuously and that may result into condensation and precipitation. This is called as atmospheric instability. Right? So, ocean currents, warm ocean cromo, uh, currents promotes atmospheric instability. Cold ocean currents promotes atmospheric stability. And that's why majority of the tropical deserts are located along the western margins of the coast continents because the cold ocean current is flowing along the uh, that particular boundary examples atacama desert in chile there which ocean current is flowing yes warm atacama desert chile mein jo hai wahan pe kaun sa ocean current hai Humboldt cold current. Humboldt cold current. Remember this. Now, when we, we talk about Namib desert in Africa. Namib desert. So, there which ocean current is flowing? Cold. Cold flow ho raha hai. Kaun sa? Bengula cold current. Remember this. Okay. So, whenever we talk about the tropical desert, there the cold current is flowing along the western margins of the continents. So, one of the reason we are talking here. Now, prevailing winds. Yes, this is also important one. When we talk about the, the warm winds are coming, then we can say that the warmer temperatures will be there. But the cold winds are coming there, so there will be colder temperatures. Now, prevailing winds, for example, this example, aapko Just a moment. Ha. Yes. Hmm. 
we learn about air mass now air masses are formed at a particular place they receive the properties of the source region and they move to the destination region now when they arrive at the destination region they are influencing the climate of that region okay so there can be arrival of warm air mass there will be increase in temperature if there is arrival of cold air mass it will <coughs> talking about the local winds they are also prevailing winds we can say local winds kuch warm hote hai kuch cold hote hai right so if suppose they are blowing in that region so that influence the temperature of them then there is land and sea so land and sea breeze are there or simply land and sea how it influences it influences because of differential heating and cooling of the land and sea differential heating and cooling so land is heated quickly and cooled quickly as compared to ocean surface and because of that we observe there is land breeze and sea breeze and because of that we have moderate temperature in coastal areas this is called as moderating effect of sea moderating effect of sea now albedo yes so albedo is nothing but the reflectivity of the surface land surface okay reflectivity matlab kya hai ki kitna percentage of the heat radiation that is falling on that surface is reflected back okay so yes the most prominent one is fresh snow or the ice surface okay so it is having very high amount of albedo then thereafter we can say that the vegetation is there then the least albedo is of the construction material the tar or we can say that concrete ye absorb kar leta hai sara okay so albedo these are the factors we should remember and the re relevant phenomenon us pe question aata hai prelims mein okay so the next part is heat budget yes so all of us read about this heat budget in ncert but very few of us understand what is going on here theek hai although upsc will not ask percentage and all these things in heat budget but application okay comparatively you should know how much of the percentage of heat is received by which part of our atmosphere or land let's understand this concept first heat budget so <coughs> we should clearly understand that whatever the solar insulation that earth is receiving the similar amount is given back to the space and that's why the earth is not excessively heated or cooled it is maintaining the temperatures why this is the reason and how do we understand that let's say that the 100 units are received 100 units are received through incoming solar radiation theek hai 100 units are as something usko hum 100% pakadte hai incoming solar radiations now out of this 100% or 100 units some of it is absorbed by the atmosphere some of it is reflected by the cloud surface some of it is reflected by the the ice on the earth surface ye sari cheeze ho rahi hai and thereafter we can say that the remaining is absorbed by the earth surface so first of all the cloud surface is radiating back 27% the cloud surface is reflecting back the 27% the ice that is there on the earth surface is reflecting back 2% albedo abhi humne dekha the the cloud surface largely it is white in color they they also reflect majority of the radiation now 
when this 27 and 2 percent is gone it is 29 percent right now jo remaining hai usme se 14 percent it is absorbed by the atmosphere 14 percent is absorbed by the atmosphere largely which one is this part incoming radiation we are talking no atmosphere is absorbing largely incoming radiation which part of atmosphere absorb majority of incoming radiation abhi humne padha hai atmosphere matlab atmospheric gases yes which part of atmosphere structure mein humne alag alag parts dekhe structure mein incoming solar radiation very good so largely it is ozone stratosphere incoming solar radiation try to understand the remaining gases in the troposphere they are largely heated by the terrestrial radiation outgoing radiation especially greenhouse gases atmosphere is warm because of greenhouse gases and that is because of terrestrial radiation outgoing radiation there we will learn about it so this 14 percent largely it is because of ozone incoming and the other one is because of water water vapor it absorb both incoming as well as outgoing radiations understood now we learn that there are dust particles also in the atmosphere now these dust particles are scattering the incoming radiations dust particles they are scattering the incoming radiations now they are scattering towards surface uh, we can say that outer space also and towards the earth surface also so out of we can say that 23 percent it is scattering towards the space 6 percent and towards the earth surface 17 percent okay that 17 percent is absorbed by the earth surface now whatever the the dust particles are scattering 17 percent is absorbed by the earth surface very clear now the remaining 34 percent is directly falling on the earth surface and being absorbed let's make it a total 29 percent 6 percent went back to the space how much it is 35 percent it is gone back to the space it is gone back to the space now how much remaining is there in the atmosphere and the absorbed by the earth surface 65 percent out of that 65 percent 14 percent is there in atmosphere remaining 51 percent is absorbed by the earth surface very much clear incoming budget now the outgoing budget outgoing budget मतलब ये जो 65 percent है ना वो वापस चला जाना चाहिए अभी right it should go back to the space 35 percent is already gone now remaining 65 percent should go back to the space let's understand how okay so this 51 percent is released or we can say that radiated back not released radiated back by the earth surface but it is divided in three parts on the basis of how that radiated amount is being utilized where it is going let's understand that okay 23 percent out of that 51 percent is radiated back from the earth surface and out of that 23 percent 17 percent is directly going to the space but 6 percent is further absorbed by the atmosphere. Dekhye, 6 percent is absorbed by the earth surface. Now which kind of absorption it is by the gases? Largely it is by greenhouse gases. Largely it is by greenhouse gases because it is terrestrial radiation. Because it is terrestrial radiation and 17 percent gone. Hai. So, this is 23 percent now. Now, 9 percent is let us say whatever it is radiated, it is becoming part of turbulence and convection. That means, 
suppose this is the earth surface i am giving example now the atmospheric gases which are in touch with the ground layer they are getting heated they are gaining that heat they are now moving up through convection they are releasing that heat to the other layer of the gases isse kya ho raha hai ye 9% fir se atmosphere mein aa raha hai it is coming back to the atmosphere 9% in the form of turbulence and convection understood largely it is because of what water vapor convection and all these things and along with that the other gases which are not greenhouse gases we can say turbulence is caused by this now here 19% it is becoming part of condensation now this condensation simply we can say that when the the heat or in, incoming solar radiation was falling on the earth surface it must be falling on the water bodies also and that those water bodies are absorbing that and it is releasing water vapors those water vapors are moving up and they are condensing right so when they are condensing means they are releasing the heat that he is heat is getting at, added in the atmosphere that is 19% it is purely water vapor condensation process it is purely water vapor yahan pe water vapor plus baki sare gases yahan pe greenhouse gases this is not given in ncert theek hai sirf facts bataya hai na ye numbers so you should know the the story behind it now this 9% and 19% is getting added into atmosphere and already there is some heat in the atmosphere what was that 14% now let's add this 14% 9% 19% and 6% how much it is yes 48 ho raha hai yes 9, 6, 15 हो गया 15, 14, फिर से 29 हो गया 29 एंड 19, 48. That all 48 goes back to the space now. Understood? So 48 and 17, how much it is? It is 65. This is how the remaining 65 percent, already 35 percent. remaining 65% is going back to the space very much clear how it is happening and that's why hmm tell me yes yes here when we say condensation there is sure shot cloud formations when we are specifically talking turbulence it's not necessarily there is cloud formation condensation mein kya hota hai state change ho raha hai water vapor is now converted into water or ice crystals cloud formation okay and there the release of latent heat is happening no latent heat of condensation we talk theek hai to wo kafi amount hota hai that's why the 19% bahut zyada hota hai latent heat wala aspect understood yes sir yes any other doubt related to heat budget now this is the total heat budget of the earth now we have understood that the total amount is coming total amount is going back but still the earth receives the the solar insulation in terms of we can say in, in terms of excess and deficit where just now we learn about the earth is was earth was receiving more solar insulation in the tropics as compared to polar region or subtropical region and because of that we can clearly see here that within 40 45 there is surplus region of heat and beyond 40 we can see the deficit region this is latitudinal heat budget that latitudinal heat budget but if suppose this region is surplus then it must be excessively heating and if suppose this is deficit 
then it must be excessively cooling down but we do not observe such kind of excessive heat in the tropics excessive cooling or lower temperatures in the polar region why if the heat is excessive here and getting accumulated every day to yaha pe jo hai excess temperatures hone chahiye na bahut yes No, that is fine. We, even though there is radiation, there is surplus here. And there is excessive radiation back here, but still the temperatures are not far less. Theek hai, bahut kam nahi hai yaha par. Kya reason hai? there is continuous heat redistribution happening on the earth surface through various processes this is how the significance we should understand kaun se kaun se processes hai basically the winds which are flowing on the earth surface in the atmosphere they are redistributing heat or ocean currents which are flowing they are redistributing heat so excess heat from this region is transferred there understood and yahan se ye cooler idhar aa raha hai aise continuation mein chal raha hai that's why it is not excessively heating it is not excessively getting cold understood this can be oh, uh, let's say basis for framing one of the applied question okay now this is latitudinal बजट ओके इनवर्जन ऑफ टेम्परेचर कॉन्सेप्ट ऑल दो यूपीसी हैज आस द क्वेश्चन इन मेन्स एग्जामिनेशन इन टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन आई गेस ऑन इनवर्जन ऑफ टेम्परेचर बट इन प्रिलिम्स देर कैन बी क्वेश्चन इन अप्लाइड मैनर लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज दिस एज द नेम सजेस्ट इनवर्जन ऑफ टेम्परेचर जस्ट नाउ वी हैव सेट दैट देर इज नॉर्मल लैप्स रेट normal laps rate says that there is decrease in temperature with increase in height now when this situation is reversed that means we have reverse laps rate when we have reverse laps rate that means increase in temperature with increase in height such situation is called as inversion of temperature increase in temperature with increase in height and such situation happens rarely not it is not the established we can say phenomenon on the earth surface it is a rare phenomenon and it is observed under certain conditions which are these conditions first of all long cold winter nights extensive uniform surface cloudless sky no strong horizontal winds winds are calm okay these are the favorable conditions for having this inversion of temperature right so for example abhi jo hai winter mein kya ho raha hai we have long cold winter nights suppose extensive uniform surface like north north indian plains we have extensive uniform surface cloudless skies are there no strong horizontal winds there we observe such kind of inversion of temperature early in the morning early in the morning what we have as we move up temperature goes on increasing now why it is happening because of excessive heat loss excessive heat loss by the surface through terrestrial radiation and because of that the surface is much cooler and therefore the atmosphere which is in touch with that layer also is much cooler 
and the cooler air remains near the surface rather warmer air moves up above that cooler air ye temporary phenomenon din ho gaya shuru sunrise aa gaye thereafter again it reverses because there is during the day again the earth surface is getting heated so of course there will be warmer air near in the in the touch of the earth surface upar jayenge cool ho jayega this is how we observe the inversion of temperature Uh, why you are saying this? Because uh, we have written a one condition. Hmm. That means uh, extensive uniform surface. Hmm. On that basis, I am. Yes. See, when we are saying that the extensive uniform surface, yes, we can say that. But water is not that surface. Why? Because water is connected from everywhere. वो क्या कर रहा है वाटर हीट रीडिस्ट्रीब्यूट कर देता है इमीजिएटली सो द काइंड ऑफ एक्सेसिव हीट लॉस ऑब्जर्व फ्रॉम द लैंड सरफेस इज वेरी हाई एज कंपेयर टू वाटर सरफेस वाटर सरफेस क्या कर देगा हीट हो गया तो वो डिस्ट्रीब्यूट कर देता है साइड में बट व्हाट वी ऑब्जर्व ऑन द लैंड ड्यूरिंग डे टाइम इट इज एक्सेसिवली हीटिंग एंड इमीजिएटली एट नाइट टाइम इट इज एक्सेसिवली लूजिंग दैट हीट Do we observe that heat is redistributing through conduction? नहीं होता है Convection बहुत strong है ocean में water surface में That's why this phenomenon is not prominent there. Second question: The heat concept, the land of heat is different. So, the daytime period, the night temperature, night temperature, hmm. so land of heat is. No. See, when we say land and sea breeze, there is advection going on, horizontal movement of winds, and when we have horizontal movements of wind, we cannot have inversion of temperature because it will destabilize that situation. जो cold winds surface पे टिके रहने चाहिए to observe this phenomenon. सी कोल्ड एयर जो है यहां पे क्या रहेगा अर्थ के सरफेस पे यहां पे ही रहेगा एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट व्हाट वी हैव देर इज वार्म एयर मूविंग अप अब इट अगर हॉरिजेंटल विंड आएगा तो ये इसको लेके जाएगा हटा देगा वहां से ओके सो दिस शुड नॉट हैपन अंडरस्टूड नहीं समझ रहे समझ गए ना Uh, rather you should understand the inversion of temperature is more prominent in the interiors of the continents not in the coastal area because of this reason horizontal strong winds it is more prominent in the interiors of the continents one important reason is that in the interior of the continents the the more heat is absorbed by the land surface and is lost at night time in excessive manner theek hai but वही कोस्टल एरिया में क्या होता है वी हैव मॉडरेटिंग इफेक्ट ऑफ सी इन कोस्टल एरिया ओके नो एक्सेस हीटिंग नो एक्सेस कूलिंग इन कोस्टल एरिया राइट यस नाउ व्हाट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ दिस इनवर्जन ऑफ टेम्परेचर व्हाट वी ऑब्जर्व इन द नवंबर मंथ इन दिल्ली इज दिस सिचुएशन right long cold nights extensive uniform surface cloudless sky no strong horizontal winds and because of that whatever the wind that is there in city it remains there and hum kya karte hai we are adding pollutants in the air and because of that all those pollutants remain near the ground for long period of time this leads to smog formation okay so inversion of temperature promotes fog formation of fog formation of dew early in the morning but when we add smoke to this there is smog smoke plus fog is 
small right so that's why uh, when imd says that there is increase in the uh, let's say or suffer system jo hai hum bolte hai ki uh, aqi is falling down and this is becoming problem in delhi it is clearly mentioning the reason that the wind movement is very slow in delhi and for next one or two day the smog may be there and when there is they are saying that the there is improvement in the quality of air they will say that the wind movement is now fast to ye reason hai fine so inversion of temperature formation of fog smog dew all these are related to each other and now there is new phenomenon happening in mumbai few days back you may have seen this news that mumbai also observe 2 3 days uh, let's say dense power of smog tha ki nahi hai news mein november mein november kya december mein chahe early december mein not november 5 6 7 <coughs> december last two weeks continuously smog has been seen in mumbai ha first week and second week of december we have experienced smog in mumbai we are expecting question in mains actually and i had covered this in tucker perspective lecture one of the tucker perspective lecture recently so why why smog was there in mumbai there was this question in 2014 or 15 upsc gs1 paper geography what was that question upsc has asked that despite of similar level of pollution in mumbai delhi and kolkata why delhi experiences smog conditions or more let's say uh, harmful conditions aisa question tha so you have to explain this only the geographical reason is inversion of temperature and the wind movement is not fast now we are expecting question after 7 8 years that why there is smog in mumbai in recent times ab wo current phenomenon hai there was this explained article in uh, indian express explaining all this phenomenon and what we have observed now this year in mumbai just now i have explained moderating effect of sea this moderating effect is generally happening in the cycle cyclic manner cyclic movement of land and sea breeze theek hai cyclic movement hota hai aur ye cycle jo hota hai 3 to 4 days ka hota hai standard cycle so suppose for 3 to 4 days the land breeze is prominent for next 3 4 days there will be sea breeze prominent because of that there is intermixing of all the pollutants so there is no let's say smog formation there okay smog formation during the winter now what we observed during this time is first this cycle extended to 10 to 15 days this is unusual phenomenon observed this year this cycle extended to 10 to 15 days that means the the land breeze agar flow ho raha hoga to wahi cycle mein rahega so whatever the pollutants were there they remained on the land or so sea breeze aa raha hai to wo wahi pe reh gaya there was there is no immediate intermixing of those pollutants and along with that there was excess heating or losing of the uh, let's say heat from the earth's surface in the mumbai region and because of that cooler temperatures were there so fog plus smog led to smog and that remained on the ground for long period of time because this cycle got delayed and at present there is no explanation for this by the geographers scientists okay second reason is that there is excess emission of excess emission of pm10 okay vehicular emissions have pm 2.5 largely the particulate matter 
बट पी एम टेन इज लार्जली फ्रॉम कंस्ट्रक्शन एक्टिविटी एंड लॉट ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्शन एक्टिविटी रिज्यूम्ड इन मुंबई इन रिसेंट टाइम्स लार्ज इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर प्रोजेक्ट दिस इज वन ऑफ द रीजन एंड दैट्स वाई इट हैज ऑल्सो फर्दर फ्यूएल द स्मॉक फॉर्मेशन ओके सो दीज आर द रीजन यू शुड बी नोइंग अगर मेंस में पूछ लिया तो वो भी आपको पता होना चाहिए फाइन ओके सो दिस इज इनवर्जन ऑफ टेम्परेचर कॉन्सेप्ट आई गेस नाउ यू हैव अंडरस्टूड द नेक्स्ट कॉन्सेप्ट वी विल अंडरस्टैंड इज कोरियोलिस फोर्स नो मेनी टाइम्स स्टूडेंट्स फाइंड इट डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड कोरियोलिस फोर्स इट्स सिग्निफिकेंस बट यस दिस इज रिलेटेड टू रोटेशन ऑफ द अर्थ अलोंग इट्स टिल्टेड एक्सेस rotation of the earth along its tilted axis what we observe is coriolis force is not as such a force rather it is effect effect on the fluid large fluid bodies flowing on the earth surface fluid includes gas as well as liquid fluid includes gas as well as liquid large fluid bodies we are talking now how this effect is observed let's understand so we found this very good photograph to explain this suppose suppose a ball is thrown from the polar region towards the equator now we know that earth rotates from west to east or east to west west to east the earth rotates from west to east like this now when the ball is thrown and it is still in air in that time period the earth has moved on the earth has moved on and till the ball is reaching to the destination point ab wo point jo hai aage chala gaya hai wo actually mein yahan pe aana chahiye tha wo yahan pahunch gaya hai because of earth's rotation simply you can see that inhone feka tha yahan pe jaane ke liye but wo yahan pahuncha northern hemisphere what is what we are observing is there is deflection towards the right there is deflection towards the right now this phenomenon is very prominent in movement of wind okay so winds are deflected towards the right and ocean currents are also deflected towards right in northern hemisphere in the similar manner the cyclone formation and the movement of wind in the cyclones is influenced because of coriolis force in the same manner yesterday we talked about the meandering of the rivers it is influenced by this effect now in southern hemisphere agar yahi ye cheez idhar fekna chahta to wo kahan pe deflect hua tha uske left mein so in southern hemisphere it is deflected to its left this should be very clear and it is happening because of rotation of the earth and it is effect at such it is not force but it is effect and effect is the manifestation of cause that cause is we are calling it as a force theek hai koi bhi ek movement hota hai to hum bolte force ki wajah se hua hai so that's why we are calling it as a force coriolis force given by coriolis scientist isliye coriolis force theek hai now you have understood this okay ha huh. see for aeroplane what we observe is the aeroplane tries to reach at a particular location but the earth is moving so aeroplane navigates in that manner but the advantage here you should understand that if if suppose the aeroplane is moving from this location to this location the earth is already moving in that direction so the plane will reach early there barabar hai ki nahi the plane which reach early there so that means the plane leaving japan and reaching to us will reach much faster as compared to the plane moving from us to the japan ulta bola kya maine ulta bola hai na are yaar thoda फोर्स दो ब्रेन को ठीक है द अर्थ इज मूविंग फ्रॉम वेस्ट टू ईस्ट नाउ जापान इज लोकेटेड टूवर्ड्स ईस्ट और वेस्ट ऑफ यूएस 
वेस्ट में है ना हाँ तो जापान से जब सेकंड वर्ल्ड वॉर चल रहा था तो जापान के जो एरोप्लेन जा रहे थे ना उधर यूएस में तो उनको कितना टाइम लगा होगा ज्यादा टाइम लगा होगा क्योंकि अर्थ भी साइमल्टेनियसली घूम रहा है तो वो प्लेस आगे आगे जा रहा है नीचे से यूएस जो है वो आगे आगे जा रहा है कैन यू इमेजिन दिस नाउ इन अ रिवर्स मैनर फ्रॉम रिटर्निंग फ्रॉम यूएस जल्दी आ जाएगा क्योंकि नीचे से भी घूम रहा है क्लियर रखो अभी है अंडरस्टूड नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट वी कैन से दैट वॉट आई वॉज टेलिंग यू जेट स्ट्रीम वाला कॉन्सेप्ट आई विल एक्सप्लेन किसमें पैदल पे नहीं लागू होगा वाई वेन वी आर वॉकिंग ऑन द अर्थ सर्फेस और सिंपली राइडिंग ऑन द रोड वी आर सिंपली मूविंग अलॉन्ग द अर्थ सर्फेस वी आर नॉट एक्सपीरियंसिंग दैट इफेक्ट वेन वी आर डिटैचिंग फ्रॉम द अर्थ सर्फेस विंड इज डिटैच फ्रॉम द अर्थ सर्फेस नो ऊपर से फ्लो हो रही है राइट right? या ओशन सर्फेस इट इज फ्रीली फ्लोइंग दैट ओशन करंट लार्ज वॉटर बॉडी सो दे आर एक्सपीरियंसिंग दिस इफेक्ट राइट नाउ यस जनरल सर्कुलेशन ऑफ एटमोस्फेयर वेरी सिंपल आई गेस एवरी वन नोज अबाउट दिस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल एक्सप्लेन द प्रेशर बेल्ट देन आई विल एक्सप्लेन दिस ओके नाउ एज वी नो एज वी हैव अंडरस्टूड दैट द अर्थ इज गेटिंग मोर हीट नियर द ट्रॉपिक्स एज कंपेयर टू पोलर रीजन सो अकॉर्डिंगली द प्रेशर बेल्ट आर फॉर्म ओके यस यस कोरियलिस फोर्स इज ऑब्जर्व हाइएस्ट नियर द पोल्स एज कंपेयर टू इक्वेटर वॉट इज द रीजन कोरियलिस फोर्स और कोरियलिस इफेक्ट गोज ऑन इंक्रीजिंग फ्रॉम इक्वेटर टूवर्ड्स द पोल क्यू क्या रीजन है वॉट इज द रीजन दैट हाँ विच डिस्टेंस यू आर सेंग नो लैटिट्यूड वाला नहीं है देखो क्या है ना कि यहां पे देखो सी हियर द शेप ऑफ द अर्थ इज फ्लैट like this but you can see that here it is becoming obloid jo pole ke yahan pe kya hai na chhota hote ja raha hai now when we talk about this place moving on this side aise theek hai to ye kya hai na jaldi aage chala jata hai kyunki ye kam hi hai na area this circle is very less as compared to equatorial circle try to understand this okay and because of that what we observe yahan pe jo deflection milega na equator ke yahan pe it is very less as compared to this region why because it is immediately moving fast so simply we can say that the angular velocity is much faster near the poles theek hai yahan pe jo hai angular velocity zyada hai bahut jaldi aage ja raha hai as compared to near the equator this is the main reason see friction comes into the picture throughout the earth surface but that is not the reason rather the coriolis effect is observed more when there is less friction when there is less friction simply when the wind is moving above the earth surface at a distance that experiences more coriolis effect as compared to the wind moving near the earth surface kyunki friction ka effect zyada dikhega best example is jet streams rossby waves jet streams and rossby waves they are experiencing more coriolis effect as compared to the winds like trade winds understood because they are moving much at a much higher distance they are not experiencing friction okay that's why the rossby waves wavy nature of the jet streams so that can, that example you can remember 
यस एनी अदर क्वेश्चन फाइन सो द प्रेशर बेल्ट एज वी नो दैट एट द इक्वेटर वी आर रिसीविंग वेरी हाई अमाउंट ऑफ हीट so the the surface is getting heated and because of that we have here low pressure form low pressure form this is thermally created low pressure what we have to keep now in mind is whenever the wind is leaving from a place there will be low pressure created whenever the wind is arriving and staying at a particular place there will be high pressure created ये माइंड में एकदम फिक्स करना है तभी आपको ये समझेगा आप ओके सो हियर व्हाट हैपन्स इज द सरफेस इज गेटिंग हीटेड द विंड विच इज नियर द सरफेस इज मूविंग अप सो दैट मींस इट इज लीविंग दैट सरफेस लो प्रेशर इज क्रिएटेड हियर नाउ दिस विंड इज मूविंग अप इट इज नाउ डाइवर्जिंग लाइक दिस इन द अपर एटमोस्फेयर एंड सम ऑफ इट इज मूविंग लाइक दिस सम ऑफ मूविंग लाइक दिस now this wind is subsiding down near we can say that 30 35 north 30 35 south okay and at this place it is subsiding down and staying there subsiding down and staying there what does it it mean there will be now you must be thinking wahi pe niche kyu ja raha hai sir क्या रीजन है यहां पर दिस इज डायनामिकली क्रिएटेड हाई प्रेशर बेल्ट दिस इज डायनामिकली क्रिएटेड हाई प्रेशर बेल्ट व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय दैट डायनामिकली क्रिएटेड मींस ड्यू टू रोटेशन ऑफ द अर्थ और ड्यू टू कोरियोलिस फोर्स ड्यू टू रोटेशन ऑफ द अर्थ और ड्यू टू कोरियोलिस फोर्स so what is happening here due to coriolis effect the wind is moving down and staying near the ground it is coriolis effect okay and that's why the high pressure is created here now when the wind is moving down and staying there it is creating high pressure and slowly slowly that wind is moving sideways along the surface that leads to movement अब सरफेस पे विंड कैसे ब्लो होता है फ्रॉम हाई प्रेशर टू लो प्रेशर फ्रॉम हाई प्रेशर टू लो प्रेशर दिस इज हाई प्रेशर दिस इज लो प्रेशर विंड इज ब्लोइंग अलोंग द सरफेस हियर आल्सो इट इज मूविंग लाइक दिस फ्रॉम हाई प्रेशर टू लो प्रेशर अलोंग द नाउ इन द नदर हेमिस्फेयर इट इज टर्निंग टू इट्स राइट इन द सदर्न हेमिस्फेयर इट इज टर्निंग टू द लेफ्ट दे आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज यस ट्रेड विंड्स or easter leaves they are also called as trade winds or easter leaves theek hai to ye yaad rakhna hai naam easter leaves kyu bola jata hai kyunki wo east se west blow ho rahi hai jahan se origin hota hai wind ka the origin of the wind that is the it is given the name to the wind okay so if it is blowing from east to west it will be called as easter leaves if it is blowing from west to east it will be called as wester leaves okay fine now you have understood and now the the cell is created here within the tropics called as hadley cell hadley cell now this high pressure is also having we can say that the wind movement along the surface towards the 60 65 degree north and south like this as the wind is moving in the southern hemisphere it is deflecting deflecting to the left and in northern hemisphere it deflecting to the right moving from west to east that's why westerlies it is happening along the ground it is happening along the ground and at the same time what we observe in the polar region is excessive cooler temperatures in the polar region and because of that the wind in the atmosphere subside down and stays there and that's why high pressure is created here we have high pressure but it is thermally created 
इट इज थर्मली क्रिएटेड सो थर्मली क्रिएटेड हाई प्रेशर एंड लो प्रेशर कौन से होते हैं पोलर रीजन एंड इक्वेटर रीजन वेन आई से थर्मली क्रिएटेड दैट डज नॉट मीन कि वहां पे रोटेशन ऑफ अर्थ का इफेक्ट नहीं है इट डज नॉट मीन देर इज नो कोरियल फोर्स जस्ट नाउ वी लर्न दैट देर इज हाई इफेक्ट ऑफ कोरियल फोर्स एज वी मूव टूवर्ड्स द पोल बट इन पोलर रीजन द थर्मल इफेक्ट डॉमिनेट्स द कोरियल इफेक्ट the thermal effect dominates the coriolis effect try to understand this and that's why we are saying that it is thermally created high pressure but now as the wind is subsiding and staying near so the wind will blow from high pressure to low pressure region and this is one such low pressure area it 60 65 north and south this is again created dynamically due to rotation of the earth why because the wind which is coming there along the surface from polar region and subtropical high pressure region here it is converging and moving up here it is move converging and moving up so it is not staying there it is leaving that place so when the wind is leaving the place we call it as a low pressure two dynamically created two thermally created pressure belts remember this theek hai but uska effect same rahega low pressure low pressure hi rahega high pressure high pressure hi rahega and because of these differential high pressure low pressure belt there is fixed planetary wind movement happening in a cellular manner three cells are form hadley cell ferrell cell polar cell हेडली सेल फेरल सेल पोरल सेल पोल सिक्वेंस में याद रखिए इस पर भी क्वेश्चन बन सकता है दिस इज वी कैन से ट्राई सेल्युलर मॉडल ऑफ वी कैन से द प्लानिटरी विंड सर्कुलेशन और जनरल सर्कुलेशन ऑफ द एटमोस्फेयर नाउ वेन यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस मेनी कॉन्सेप्ट विल बी वेरी क्लियर हियर आफ्टर बिकॉज विंड एंड विंड सर्कुलेशन से रिलेटेड काफी फेनामिन इससे सॉल्व हो जाते हैं फाइन ओके नाउ ओके सो द अदर टाइप्स ऑफ विंड्स दीज वर प्लैनेटरी विंड्स विच आर द प्लैनेटरी विंड्स ट्रेड विंड्स वेस्टर्लीज पोलर ईस्टर्लीज पोलर रीजन से जो आ रहे थे वो क्या थे पोलर ईस्टर्लीज दीज आर कॉल्ड एज प्लैनेटरी विंड्स एंड दीज आर परमानेंट इन नेचर दे आर ब्लोइंग थ्रू आउट द ईयर इन अ सेम डायरेक्शन in a same direction so that's why we call them as permanent winds or planetary winds okay they are permanent in nature blowing in a same direction throughout the year now the second type of winds periodic winds periodic means they are blowing in a certain direction for a time period and their direction may change after that time period okay so they are called as periodic winds Uh, example can be seasonal winds or the other example can be land and sea breeze or mountain and valley breeze they are called as periodic winds teen example <coughs> seasonal winds for example monsoon winds they are called as seasonal winds example of periodic wind second is land and sea breeze and third is mountain and valley breeze we learn about all of them okay so yes talking about the monsoon here itself we will understand the monsoon phenomenon okay sara yahi pe samajh lenge kya ho raha hai monsoon mein so when we talk about in a layman language monsoon is happening because of the trade winds flowing due to differential heating and cooling of land and sea surface layman language mein okay kya ho raha hai mai clearly bata deta hu so <clears throat> this is land surface indian subcontinent and during the summer it is intensively heated and the land is heated more as compared to the ocean surface 
so here comparatively low pressure created comparatively here there will be high pressure the wind along the surface flows from high pressure to low pressure these winds are nothing but monsoon winds these winds are nothing but monsoon winds the other explanation can be simply these are trade winds these are trade winds as we see that during the summer where is the sun overhead along the tropic of cancer during the summer where the sun is along the tropic of cancer now when the sun is overhead here all the pressure belts shift to the north all the pressure belts shift to the north theek hai to isse kya ho raha hai itcz yahan pe aa gaya itcz kya hai intertropical convergence zone i will explain that here इंटर ट्रॉपिकल कन्वर्जन जोन यहां पे दिया है ना ये आई टी सी जेड फाइव डिग्री नॉर्थ फाइव डिग्री साउथ ऑफ इक्वेटर नाउ ड्यूरिंग द समर एज देर इज अपरेंट मूवमेंट ऑफ सन टूवर्ड्स द नॉर्थ ओवर द ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैप्रिका कैंसर ऑल दीज प्रेशर बेल्ट एंड ऑल दिस प्लानिटरी विंड सर्कुलेशन शिफ्ट टू द नॉर्थ इमेजिन नाउ दिस इज ओवर हेड हियर और दिस इज शिफ्टेड टू हियर ठीक है ये यहां पे शिफ्ट हो गया इमेजिन करिए अब ये इंडिया है यहां पे नॉर्थ इंडिया ठीक है और ये इक्वेटर है नाउ व्हाट इज हैपनिंग अर्लियर दीज विंड्स वेयर फ्लोइंग लाइक दिस दीज आर ट्रेड विंड्स एंड हियर द इंडियन ओशन इज देयर नाउ दीज विंड्स हैव टू क्रॉस द इक्वेटर टू बी पार्ट ऑफ आई और टू रीच द आई ठीक है आईटी सीजेड लो प्रेशर एरिया है ना वहां पे आना है उन विंड्स को बट दे हैव टू क्रॉस द इक्वेटर नाउ दे हैव टू क्रॉस द इक्वेटर अब ये ऐसे आ रहे हैं और इक्वेटर क्रॉस करने के बाद वो कहा गए नदन हेमिसफेयर में दे एंटर नदन हेमिसफेयर एंड इन नदन हेमिसफेयर वेयर द विंड इज डिफ्लेक्टिंग टू इट्स टू इट्स राइट नाउ वेन दे आर कमिंग ऑन द इंडियन सब they are moving like this i will draw here now theek hai this is equator very much it should be very much clear theek hai kya ho raha hai aapko bahut clearly samajhna chahiye now this is equator this is tropic of cancer and here now sun is overhead itcz had shifted here that means the trade winds will try to converge here now when these trade winds are moving over the ocean they will have to cross this equator in the southern hemisphere south of equator they were blowing like this ideally they should go like this and have lot of rainfall in this arid region of arabia ideally but are they going there no after crossing the equator they are turning to its right see here like this because of coriolis effect northern hemisphere mein aage direction change kar diya now this is nothing but southwest monsoon that we ha have during june to september have you understood this yes <clears throat> what's the reason winds remain at 30 degree but move upward at 60 degree is the reason to make cell or something else it's try to understand it is happening because of rotation of the earth at that particular location due to coriolis effect the wind is subsiding down okay wind is subsiding down at 60 degree north it is moving up it is coriolis effect okay and that is resulting into formation of cells that is resulting into formation of cells now you have understood this and ultimately when they are coming on the indian subcontinent they are bringing all the moisture with it as they are moving from the ocean surface it is tropical area warm area they are bringing lot of moisture and that moisture is given up here on the indian subcontinent in the in terms of rainfall now let's go in detail 
let's go in detail and try to understand what other factors influence the Indian monsoon. One of the important factor is that the onset of monsoon. Okay, let's understand. Despite of severe heating happening in March, April, May month, we do not observe onset of monsoon in May. It is happening in first week of June only. Why? Yeah, garam ho gaya. Inhone aaj aana chahiye tha. Tropical westerly jet stream. Not eastern. Okay. So, I will draw here that tropical westerly jet stream. Okay. So, <clears throat> so, these are the Himalayas, let us say and this is Tibetan plateau. Tibetan plateau. So, tropical east, sorry, tropical westerly jet stream, tropical westerly jet stream is moving like this. I will explain jet stream, uh, the phenomenon. Okay, I will explain right now only. Then, say, you will get to know jet stream. Kya hota hai? Okay, jet streams are basically narrow, fast moving, geostropic winds. narrow fast moving geostropic winds they are moving in the upper atmosphere geostropic means what NCRT make chota sa explanation diya hai the only part that most of the students do not understand in that NCRT geostropic winds huh? Huh, but geostropic winds hote kya hai Suppose this is the earth surface. When the wind is moving along the earth surface, it is experiencing different forces. First is the pressure gradient. It is moving from high pressure to low pressure. This is one force. Second force it is experiencing is friction as it is moving along the earth surface. And the third force it experiences is Coriolis force. These three forces are acting on that wind okay and because of that its direction is decided now when this wind is moving a little bit higher from the earth surface which force is not acting on this wind which force is not acting on this wind friction. yes friction is not there now only two forces are acting one is pressure gradient and other is Coriolis force these two forces even out each other and now the wind is flowing parallel to the pressure bars or isobars. It is moving parallel to the isobars. Now you tell me what is this movement? Isobars are like this only, no? Thoda sa latitude ke isi mein hota hai. To ye parallel move karna shuru kar deti hai. Because two forces, major forces are even out there. Thik hai, Coriolis force and pressure gradient. Understood? So, they are called as geostropic winds and the best example is jet stream. Now, jet stream origination. Kaha se origin karta hai ye? Just now we have seen that in northern hemisphere, what we have there is the high pressure. Cold winds are subsiding down near the earth surface and there is high pressure created. Now, you tell me, when there is high pressure near the earth's surface and the winds are subsiding down, what will be there in the upper atmosphere in polar region? The winds are leaving that region, no? Low pressure. Low pressure. In upper atmosphere, there will be low pressure. Now, wind circulation around the low pressure is cyclonic circulation. The wind circulation around the low pressure is called as cyclonic circulation. And there it is northern hemisphere. So, how wind will flow around the low pressure? In anticlockwise manner. 
in a anti clockwise manner i will explain that in a cyclone formation but now imagine yahan pe ye rehta tha na okay i will explain on this zyada acche se samjhega okay this is north pole okay polar region now near the surface there is high pressure and here in the upper atmosphere in the polar region there is low pressure and because of that in anti clockwise manner the wind is moving around that low pressure in the upper atmosphere during winter this high pressure near the ground and low pressure in the upper atmosphere become very strong and its reach the the reach of these winds is increasing ठीक है अब ये अपर एटमोस्फेयर में 30 डिग्री नॉर्थ तक पहुंच जाते हैं कब विंटर में एंड नाउ दे आर बिकमिंग पार्ट और दे आर सेपरेटिंग फ्रॉम दिस द टर्म और कॉन्सेप्ट वी कॉल इट एज पोलर वॉर्टेक्स ओके द मूवमेंट ऑफ एंटी क्लॉकवाइज विंड्स नियर द और अराउंड द लो प्रेशर हियर इज कॉल्ड एज पोलर वॉर्टेक्स ठीक है now this polar vortex is becoming very strong during winter and because of that some of the wind circulation gets detached from polar vortex some of the wind circulation gets detached from polar vortex and move independently like this in a narrow manner but these winds are very fast they are called as jet streams they are called as jet streams example is this one understood kaise taiyar hua hai jet stream okay okay fine now coming back to the discussion <coughs> yes yes this tropical westerly jet stream plays important role in onset of indian monsoon how let's understand that tropical westerly jet stream when it is moving like this is bifurcated because of himalayas and tibetan plateau kyunki himalaya ka height bahut zyada hai right and because of that there is northerly branch there is northerly branch and southern branch created okay it is in upper atmosphere imagine it is in upper atmosphere now even during the may this is the situation now this southern branch does not allow these trade winds to come here on the indian subcontinent why thoda sa aur detail mein jate hain generally ye students ko nahi samajhta hai but i will try ki aapko samajh mein aaye hum optional mein padhate hain in gs we generally explain this southern branch does not allow the onset and when this southern branch shift to the northern in first week of june there is onset of monsoon general studies ke liye itna hi important hai but i will explain in detail what is happening there see here the location of this tropical westerly jet stream is above peshawar theek hai to यहाँ पे थोड़ा सा मैं ड्रॉ करता हूँ ठीक है इमेजिन करिए यहाँ पे पेशावर है और पाकिस्तान है एंड द लोकेशन हियर ऑफ दिस विंड इज हाउ इट इज क्लॉक वाइज राइट द मूवमेंट इज हैपनिंग इन अ क्लॉक वाइज मैन नाउ यू टेल मी व्हेन देर इज क्लॉक वाइज मूवमेंट ऑफ द जेट स्ट्रीम द सराउंडिंग विंड ऑफ दैट जेट स्ट्रीम विल बी ऑल्सो मूविंग लाइक दिस इन द अपर एटमोस्फेयर and when it is moving like this what is this movement it is clockwise movement and clockwise movement is around high pressure clockwise movement is around high pressure and because of that what happens the wind subside near the surface the wind subside near the surface high pressure se niche jo low pressure bana hua hai na wahan pe subside karne ki koshish karte hai from upper atmosphere to lower atmosphere and that means whatever the wind getting heated near the peshawar at that time it the wind is not allowed to move up when the wind is not allowed to move up 
how the other wind from the surrounding will come and fill up that place this will this wind will come here when there is a place created for this wind on the surface theek hai ab ye wind yahan pe aane ke liye allowed hi nahi hai kyunki yahan ki wind upar ja hi nahi rahi hai why because upper atmosphere does not allow that wind to move up ye kab tak chal raha hai jab tak ye tropical easter tropical westerly jet stream ka position is tarike se hai now what happens in first week of june let's understand that in first week of june this position is change of tropical westerly jet stream see how i will draw this the position becomes like this okay the position becomes like this i will again draw it properly like this that means now the southerly branch has completely shifted towards the north mai wo bataunga alag se ठीक है नाउ द सदनली ब्रांच हैज शिफ्टेड टूवर्ड्स द नॉर्थ एंड हियर यू कैन सी दैट अर्लियर व्हाट वाज द मूवमेंट ऑफ द विंड ऐसा हो रहा था ना अब ये क्या हो गया एंड दैट्स व्हाई द सराउंडिंग विंड विल स्टार्ट मूविंग लाइक दिस क्या हो ये एंटी क्लॉकवाइज इट इज क्रिएटिंग लो प्रेशर नाउ सडनली द विंड व्हिच इज नियर द सरफेस विल मूव विथ अ फोर्स there is vacuum created near the ground suddenly this winds will try to fill up that ye bade area pe ho raha hai chote se nahi bahut bade area pe ho raha hai understood and because of this change in the direction of the south west uh, we can say uh, westerly tropical jet stream and shifting of this southerly branch to the north there is onset of monsoon have you understood this everyone yes sir now talking about the tibetan plateau tibetan plateau on an average height is 4000 meter and it is extensive land surface getting heated during the summer which creates which creates low pressure on the surface of tibetan plateau heat ho gaya to low pressure ho gaya now the wind near the tibetan plateau will move up as it is creating low pressure as the wind is reaching to the high upper atmosphere there will be high pressure there will be high pressure now in upper atmosphere there is a new jet stream established here above the tibetan plateau in the upper atmosphere from high pressure region to the low pressure region near the mascarenes जो ग्राउंड पे मास्करेनस हाई है ना उसके ऊपर लो प्रेशर है एक अभी मास्करेनस हाई मादागास्कर के ऊपर जहां पे हाई प्रेशर बना है वहां से ये विंड्स इधर आ रहे हैं एज अ पार्ट ऑफ साउथ वेस्टर्ली जेट स्ट्रीम अंडरस्टूड नियर द मादागास्कर देर इज हाई प्रेशर क्रिएटेड अर्लियर आई टोल्ड यू नो समर गोइंग ऑन लो प्रेशर ऑन द ocean surface there is still high pressure it is southern hemisphere winter is there yahan pe summer hai yahan pe niche winter hai so high pressure is there that is called as mascarenes high location hai jahan ka hum consider karte hai ha kahan pe bol rahe ho यूक्रेन क्या बोल रहे हो रशिया और यूक्रेन का परमाणु अच्छा हाँ क्यों वैसे नहीं होता है सी नहीं नहीं दैट इज लोकलाइज हीट ओके लोकलाइज हीट सोलर इंसुलेशन इज कंपेरेटिवली ह्यूज that is only possible to make the low pressure and high pressure huge amount of solar insulation mangal ji aapne bola tha 
No, that is that is for Mangal Grah. ठीक है. Here, which are which is, already we have source of heat. No, solar insulation. See, that is not relevant here. That is not going to make change here. ठीक है. That is very clear. Although climate change will bring change here rather than that uh, nuclear attack you are saying. Simply. Okay. So now again I am repeating here. Tibetan plateau on the surface there is low pressure. In the upper atmosphere above Tibetan plateau there is high pressure. The wind from high pressure will try to reach the upper atmospheric low pressure which is av available above the Mascarenes or north of Madagascar. Waha ka upper atmosphere mein low pressure bana hai. Now the tropical easterly jet stream TEJ Tej, is set here about uh, we can say that Tibetan plateau and is moving like this. Now it is creating a kind of cycle. Dekhiye. समझ में आ रहा है अपर एटमोस्फेयर से विंड ऐसे आ रहा है और वो प्रेशराइज कर रहा है ग्राउंड के यहां पे जो विंड है उसको इधर जाने के लिए एंड दैट्स व्हाई द ऑनसेट ऑफ मॉनसून इज कॉल्ड एज बर्स्ट ऑफ मॉनसून विद द फोर्स विंड्स आर कमिंग नॉट इन अ काम मैनर द विंड्स आर कमिंग विद अ फोर्स नॉट इन अ काम मैनर दैट इज कॉल्ड एज बर्स्ट ऑफ मॉनसून understood so role of tibetan plateau one is it is bifurcating the tropical westerly jet stream during the winter time period and when the southern branch shift to north then only we can say that there is onset of monsoon we have understood again i am repeating if it is asked in the mains examination you should not explain this phenomenon because it is like showing your optional subject knowledge jo ncert me diya hua hai क्या बोला है एनसीआरटी में नदनली ब्रांच सदनली ब्रांच शिफ्ट टू द नदन एंड देन देर इज ऑनसेट ऑफ मॉनसून छोड़ दिया है उतना ही हमें बताना है जीएस में फाइन सो यू हैव अंडरस्टूड द मॉनसून फेनामिन एनी क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू दिस ओके ऑल राइट नाउ द लैंड एंड सी ब्रीज द फेनामिन लेट्स क्विकली अंडरस्टैंड वी हैव एक्सप्लेन ऑलरेडी रिलेटेड टू वी कैन से डिफरेंशियल Heating and cooling. Yes. हा क्यों होता है Yes, yes. So see, it is in southern hemisphere, and in southern hemisphere there is winter going on. First thing. Okay. Second thing is that it is water surface, and water is heated. slowly and cooled slowly comparatively land is getting heated and cooled faster so in the indian continent land is getting heated comparatively very warmer temperature that's why comparatively low pressure and there is high pressure on the ocean surface ye dono factor mila ke wahan pe high pressure bana hua rehta hai theek hai ठीक है आपको माइक बंद कर दो एक बार यस नाउ सर प्लीज एक्सप्लेन डिले ऑफ मॉनसून ओके मॉनसून इज डिलेड लार्जली बिकॉज ऑफ सेम रीजन व्हाई द सदर्न ब्रांच इज येट नॉट शिफ्टेड टू द नॉर्थ लार्जली दिस इज द रीजन ओके डिले इन मॉनसून सदर्न ब्रांच ऑफ ट्रॉपिकल वेस्टर्ली जेट स्ट्रीम सब ट्रॉपिकल वेस्टर्ली जेट स्ट्रीम हैज नॉट शिफ्टेड टू द नॉर्थ the other reasons for delay in monsoon can be the local pressure differences in indian ocean region like i was explaining this <coughs> look at this suppose there is already high pressure here there is already high pressure here now suppose there is cyclone form here during that time i am repeating suppose cyclone is form here now from wind will try to move from high pressure to low pressure yahi pe usko low pressure mil gaya wind ko ek hi kaam hota hai high pressure to low pressure now when the wind is moving from high pressure to this low pressure its force to come on the indian continent will reduce that's why weak monsoon or delayed monsoon may be there 2020 या 21 में ऐसा हुआ था साइक्लोन निसर्ग वॉज फॉर्म 
here along in the arabian sea and it was moving along the coast before just monsoon and monsoon was delayed because of it do you remember this ye reason tha uska imd ne wo reason dikhaya bhi tha news mein bataya bhi tha yahi chal theek hai kaise hua hai samjha okay theek hai anything else right fine now differential heating and cooling so land is heated more quickly during the day time this is showing here so land is much warmer as compared to sea to so, yahan pe kya hoga low pressure taiyar ho jayega during day here comparatively there is high pressure wind from high pressure to low pressure and that's why cooler sea breeze cooler sea breeze during day time we have sea breeze and during night time the night uh, the land is much cooler as it is losing heat quickly and comparatively the sea is still warmer so here we have now high pressure here we have low pressure the wind will try to move from land to sea it will be called as land breeze okay so this is happening in a diurnal manner or 2 3 day cycle hota hai iska to usko periodic bola gaya hai isliye land and sea breeze the effect we all know the moderating effect of sea much moderate temperature temperatures along the coastal areas there is very short range of diurnal temperatures in the coastal areas because of this as we move away from the coastal area towards the interior interiors there is much higher range of diurnal range of temperature theek hai diurnal differences jo hai day and night wale the similar manner one more periodic wind is mountain and valley breeze theek hai mountain and valley breeze let's understand that during day time or first of all i will explain during night time during night time what happens is the extensive surface of slope of mountain it leads to loss of excessive heat so they are becoming much much cooler these surfaces the wind which is in contact with that surface is getting cooler and heavier it is getting cooler and heavier under its own weight it starts flow slope ke along it is flowing down and it is accumulating in the valley it is accumulating in the valley the wind which flows along the slope under the gravity is called as catabatic wind the wind which flows along the slope under its own weight is called as catabatic wind so this will be called as catabatic wind okay now during night time the valleys are having low temperatures and there is possibility of frost formation in the valleys because of this reason because the cold wind is coming there and accumulating as it is denser it will shift the warm wind above it so where we have warm air above cold air here theek hai so this reason then during day time what we observe is again the slopes are heated so the wind in contact with it getting heated and moving like this away from the surface this vacuum is filled up by the cooler wind from the valley theek hai the valley mein cool wind tha wo upar jaane ki koshish karega abhi and the cooler air from the center will try to subside down like this to ye ho gaya aapka माउंटेन ब्रीज ठीक है ये माउंटेन ब्रीज हो गया ये वैली ब्रीज हो गया ड्यूरिंग नाइट टाइम वी हैव वैली ब्रीज अंडरस्टूड ओके नाउ इफ सपोज द क्वेश्चन इज देयर दैट वाई एग्रीकल्चर इज प्रैक्टिस और ह्यूमन हैबिटेशन आर देयर इन द अपर स्लोप ऑफ द माउंटेन्स एंड नॉट इन वैली रीजन वॉट इज द रीजन बिकॉज हा बिकॉज ऑफ वैली ब्रीज देर इज चांसेस ऑफ फ्रॉस्ट फॉर्मेशन दैट मे डैमेज द क्रॉप एंड दैट्स वाई द एग्रीकल्चर इज नॉट प्रैक्टिस इन दैलीज यस यस माउंटेन टॉप्स ह्यूमन हैबिटेशन माउंटेन टॉप्स पहले से ही इसी रीजन की वजह से क्योंकि यहां पर काफी ठंडा हो जाता है रात के समय में कंपेरेटिवली देर इज वॉर्मर टेम्परेचर माउंटेन टॉप्स ठीक है अंडरस्टूड 
there can be applied question on this also what is a ridge acha kal aap hum kal hum jo arid dekh rahe the landforms mein do you remember arid do you remember arid let's say i am the mountain okay or i am at the top of mountain for example so what i said that there is one glacier there is this glacier there is glacier aise uske beech mein jo unhone ridge taiyar kar ke rakhi thi to usko humne kya bola tha arid in the same man manner the mountains they are also having these ridges and these ridges connect different mountains creating mountain ranges theek hai so like for example western ghats it is a mountain range continuously but it is connecting all those peaks with the ridges theek hai to aise hame yaad rakhna hai and ridge creates the water divide remember this ridge acts as a water divide उसके दूसरे साइड से जो रिवर फ्लो हो रही है वो उस तरफ जाएगी इस साइड से जो रिवर फ्लो हो रही है वो इस साइड जाएगी ठीक है ओके लोकल विंड्स क्विकली विल सी द लोकल विंड्स लार्जली यूपीसी हैज आस क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द लोकल विंड्स ऑफ दिस रीजन मेडिटेरियन ओके सो मेनी नेम्स आर देयर लोकल नेम्स रीजनल नेम्स सो विल कैटेगराइज दैम ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दैम ठीक है so okay <clears throat> first of all we'll try to find out the cold winds fawn and chinook dono ke properties similar hai isliye hum jaan ke lenge okay fawn and chinook are warm winds and the unique property they have is they blow from we can say that they blow towards the cooler regions rather we can say and that leads to uh, much warmer temperatures even during the winter even during the winter what we observe here Ch chinook is moving from the western slopes of rockies and descending on the eastern slopes of rockies where there is ice cover and that ice cover is melted because of these warm winds exposing the pastures and that's why the name of chinook is snow eater इसको क्या बोला जाता है स्नो ईटर ठीक है ये पीडीएफ आपको मिलने वाला है सारा यस yes. मिलने वाला है फोटो लेने की जरूरत नहीं है ठीक है ये सब मिलने वाला है आपको इट्स इट्स अंडर फॉर्मेटिंग यू विल गेट ऑल दिस पीडीएफ्स ओके यस सो स्नो ईटर द रीजन यू शुड नो नाउ इट इज एक्सपोजिंग द पास्चर बिकॉज ऑफ मेल्टिंग ऑफ आई सेम मैनर फोन from southern branch of uh, southern slopes of alps it is moving to the northern slopes which are much cooler and it is melting the ice in that region and the prominent significance of this wind is the location of switzerland the switzerland is the only country in europe which does not experience excess low temperature even during winter इसलिए ये टूरिस्ट डेस्टिनेशन है है कि नहीं टूरिस्ट डेस्टिनेशन क्यों है क्योंकि यूरोप में होके भी एक्सेस कम टेम्परेचर जिसको हम बोलते हैं वेरी लो टेम्परेचर नहीं है सो दिस इज द रीजन यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड मॉडरेट टेम्परेचर और वी कैन से द अफेबल टेम्परेचर और वेदर कंडीशन आर देर नाउ अदर वन मिस्ट्रल इज द कोल्ड विंड blowing from north to south mistral north to south jo hoga wo cold hoga because northernly branch of alps is very much cold that region and that's why it is cold wind in the similar manner uh, we can see that there are norwesters or blizzards from canada to the south from canada to the south during winter these blizzards are so strong and wild and there is very cold temperatures during winter there and these blizzards they they are usko ek typical naam hai ha unko winter bombs kuch to bomb naam hai unka theek hai bahut kam temperature jab kar deta hai wo to unko ek particular naam diya gaya hai 
आई गेस बॉम्ब साइक्लोन्स आई रिमेंबर ठीक है दे आर कॉल्ड एज बॉम्ब साइक्लोन्स वेन दे सडनली रिड्यूस टेम्परेचर विद इन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स दिस ब्लीजर्ड्स दे आर कॉल्ड एज बॉम्ब साइक्लोन्स वेरी कॉमन फिनोमिन ऑन ड्यूरिंग विंटर्स इन कैनेडा एंड नदर्न यूएस ओके नाउ सम ऑफ द वॉर्म विंड्स ऑफ मेडिटेरियन सिरोक्को खामसिन ओके सिरोक्को एंड खामसिन सी हर दे आर मूविंग फ्रॉम नदर्न अफ्रीकन रीजन विच इज मच ड्राई एंड डेजर्ट रीजन एंड दे आर पासिंग ओवर द मेडिटेरियन वेन दे आर मूविंग ओवर द the desert region they are carrying the dust particles sand and when they are moving over the mediterranean they are carrying the moisture now they will have rainfall in the italy region and that rainfall will be in red color so they will give blood rain sirocco these winds will give blood rain in italy because of this reason okay so yes bora again it is we can say cold wind blowing from north you can see that there is hermaton moving from land to ocean it is also warm wind hermaton okay it is bringing we can say warmer temperatures from uh, sorry dry wind hota hai kyunki ye kya hai land to ocean wala jo hota hai wo dry hota hai ocean to land move karne wala jo hota hai that is humid okay that is humid now berg is there in the Afri southern african region berg then we have yes pampero is there in argentina pampero argentina i i have the classification of all these winds like this remember this and locate them all of them on map theek hai ye aapko pdf milega this is your task mapping section se you locate all of them on map okay and cold winds and warm wind again i'm revising mistral pampero gregel bora or tramontan nor norte buran and hermaton all of these are cold winds okay maine warm bola hai kya yahan pe cold hai wo theek hai ye cold wind hai yes now warm winds fawn chinook loo sirocco jhonda khamsin lavender और बर्ग ब्रेकफील्ड इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया ये क्या है सारे वार्म विंड्स है ओके सो यू कैन लोकेट दिस ऑन मैप वर्ल्ड मैप दिस इज योर नाउ होमवर्क एंड यूपीसी हैज आस्क इन द पास्ट मेनी क्वेश्चन ऑन लोकल विंड्स अभी रिसेंट में उन्होंने नहीं पूछा है दैट बिकम्स द फॉर्डर फॉर आस्किंग क्वेश्चन ठीक है ओके okay. ठीक है अब शिफ्टिंग टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट कहां पे नो इन इंडिया ड्यूरिंग विंटर देर इज नो लोकल विंड ड्यूरिंग समर वी हैव लू और नॉर्वेस्टर्स और काल बैसाखी जो है उनको हम लोकल विंड्स बोलते हैं ओके हा दैट इज दैट इज एक्चुअली द विंड ब्लोइंग इन फ्रॉम नॉर्थ वेस्ट टू साउथ इज डायरेक्शन अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ वी कैन से वेस्टर्न डिस्टर्बेंसेस ओके द विंड इज मूविंग इन दैट डायरेक्शन एंड दैट दैट मॉइस्चर इज ब्रॉड बाय द वेस्टर्न डिस्टर्बेंसेस एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट वी हैव रेनफॉल इन दैट रीजन ड्यूरिंग डिसम्बर जनवरी अभी दिल्ली में बारिश होगा कुछ दिनों बाद सो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट ओनली ओके yes now water and associated atmospheric phenomenon briefly i will explain some concepts here because many times students do not understand this concepts theek hai to evaporation condensation hygroscopic condensation nuclei forms of condensation dew frost fog clouds let's understand this we all know that evaporation 100 degree temperature ho gaya evaporation shuru hota hai 100 डिग्री और उसके नीचे हो गया तो क्या होगा कंडेंसेशन होगा ऑल दैट कंडेंसेशन रिक्वायर्स इज हाइग्रोस्कोपिक न्यूक्लिया और सॉलिड सरफेस और सॉलिड सरफेस लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल इफ वी ड्रिंक कोल्ड वाटर 
uh, if you have cold water uh, around the container we experience there is condensation of water surrounding water vapor so simple we have we know about this we have learned in science now forms of condensation can be dew frost fog clouds depending on different situations for example dew is form on the solid surface dew is form on the solid surface when the let's say <clears throat> what we can say the dew point temperature dew point temperature is above freezing temperature that is 0 degree celsius dew point temperature is above freezing and we have frost simply the difference between the frost and fog i will explain okay and uh, here clearly you should understand dew is in complete liquid drops but frost and fog you can see that they are suspensions and frost is having very less temperatures compared to fog less temperatures theek hai so we can say that the frost is happening when the dew temperature dew point temperature is below freezing point to wahan pe frost hota hai to wahan pe frost hota hai now the fog and mist dono mein ek hi difference hai mist there is higher percentage of water vapor or water we call it as mist comparatively when it is less percentage of water water vapor it is fog okay and clouds are large we can say water or ice crystal bodies formed due to condensation they are suspended only because the gravitational force has not overcome yet theek hai ek bar unka weight enough ho jata hai to it falls in terms of precipitation okay they are floating in the air because of buoyancy force theek hai wo clouds abhi bhi clouds kyu hai aur wo pani niche aaya kyu nahi hai because of buoyancy force it has not overcome the gra gravitational force ya fir gravitational force has not overcome the buoyancy force simply and once the gravitational force overcomes that simply it falls on the ground in terms of precipitation it can be rainfall it can be snowfall theek hai to do dono form mein ho sakta hai so these are the different we can say formations and clouds are generally form in the upper atmosphere away from the earth surface because of convection theek hai convection ho raha hai upar ja raha hai thanda ho raha hai tab ja ke cloud formation ho raha hai the remaining are near the ground remaining are happening near the ground and that's why clouds are prominent throughout the year but dew frost and fog and mist is formed during the winter near the ground theek hai all right theek hai aapko ye explanation diya gaya hai you can read that same things are there fog and mist the difference and all the clouds types of clouds we can see <coughs> it is given in gc leong it's not given properly in ncrts theek hai types of clouds so you can again uh, read from gc leong or simply follow these uh, notes i have added photographs also that's why theek hai the photo se kafi easily samajh mein aa jayega aapko now the cirrus clouds are the highest clouds okay they have this feathery look and they are scattered they are not condensed near each other they are uh, we say having feathery appearance and white in color cirrus clouds they are higher clouds we can say aapko altitude dikhai de raha 8000 to 12000 meter now the cumulus are intermediate clouds intermediate dono ke beech mein cirrus aur jo nimbus clouds hote hain beech mein jo hai cumulus clouds hote hain okay they look like cotton wool and they have the flat base 
okay they have flat base they look like this and many times they are isolated okay height 4000 to 7000 exist in patches you can see this patches isolated manner mein hota hai next time you see in the sky you try to identify the clouds theek hai aapke memory mein fix ho jata hai fir wo right now <coughs> yes the stratus and nimbus clouds so stratus clouds cover large portions of the sky theek hai to yahi ek difference hai cumulus aur stratus mein but yes they are layered clouds covering large portions of the sky layered clouds means thode height pe bhi cloud hai idhar bhi cloud hai idhar bhi cloud hai idhar bhi cloud hai wo layered wala hai okay so this then the, they are formed either due to loss of heat or mixing of air masses with different temperatures so where do we have mixing of air masses 60 65 north and south mixing of air masses where we have extra tropical cyclone formation generally mixing of warm and cold air masses ha huh. sub polar we can say uh, uh, low pressure belt wahan pe hota hai and there we have formation of such kind of clouds stratus then nimbus are very near to the ground and they are dark in color right nimbus clouds dark gray color generally jab barish hota hai to is tarike se clouds hote hain they are near to the surface and extremely dense opaque to the sun rays see opaque to the sun rays that means they are reflecting back the incoming rays they lead to cooling of the atmosphere the ye pucha tha na is saal prelims mein nimbus clouds theek hai low clouds right and yes they are shapeless masses of thick vapor, uh, we can say vapor now when the nimbus clouds extend vertically to very high distances or altitudes they are called as cumulonimbus they are called as cumulonimbus clouds and generally the thunder storms are associated with the cumulonimbus clouds thunder storm and lightning theek hai theek hai aapko ye photograph se bhi kafi cheeze samajh mein aa jayegi generally aeroplanes or commercial aeroplanes they move above cirrus clouds theek hai the high clouds generally altitude level अगर आप प्लेन से ट्रैवल करते हैं तो कैप्टन क्या बोलता है आठ किलोमीटर दस किलोमीटर बोलता है ना ग्राउंड से है ना तो वो इसलिए क्योंकि वो अगर क्लाउड से पास हो गए तो बहुत ज्यादा रेजिस्टेंस होगा टर्बुलेंस होगा एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट दे प्रीफर टू मूव अबाउ क्लाउड्स ओके द सेकेंड रीजन इज दैट एज हाई वी मूव the more buoyancy force is made available for aircrafts theek hai buoyancy force because of atmospheric gases upar se flow hoga to aircraft ko buoyancy mil gaya wo apne aap mast upar se ja raha hai theek hai but usko ek bar niche se upar jana aur upar se niche aana this is the main task for aircraft reason for turbulence hmm see the clouds are huge amount of water mass water mass ice crystals so when airplane is moving from the clouds you can see that there is noise of these ice crystals impacting on the aircraft theek hai yes too much turbulence because the clouds are also associated with wind okay so strong wind movement is happening there above clouds there is no strong wind movement theek hai turbulence is because of wind movement also no theek hai now <coughs> yes precipitation simply when the <coughs> water vapor is condensed into liquid or solid form and when it is falling on the ground it will be called as precipitation when it is falling on the ground it will be called as precipitation and it falls on the ground in different forms it can be liquid form we call it as a rainfall when it is falling on the solid form we call it as a snowfall or hail storm or sleet theek hai so other forms of precipitation sleet and hail 
So hail storms, how the hail storms are formed? We know snowfall and all these things. Okay, but what is sleet and hail storm? Let's understand sleet first. Have I explained that? Let me see. Yes. So sleet and hail. First of all, see the photograph, how they look like. Sleet is basically the ground is completely covered by the ice. Okay. Now, why do we call it as a sleet? Suppose, suppose the precipitation is happening in the form of rain or liquid and the ground is too much cool and the ground ground is too much cool so what happens is in the atmosphere lower atmosphere itself when these raindrops are falling they are getting solidified kya bolte hindi mein sleet ko i don't have idea theek hai but hail storm ko to kya bolte hain hum ole तो आई डोंट नो व्हाट इज व्हाट इज सेड इन हिंदी ठीक है तो स्लीट ये होता है जनरली इट इज फाउंड इन हायर लैटिट्यूड्स ठीक है कनाडा यूरोप या रशिया वहां पे क्या है कि ग्राउंड इज फ्रीजिंग बिलो जीरो डिग्री सेल्सियस ओके एंड देयर वी ऑब्जर्व दिस थिंग ठीक है सो यहां पे दिखा होगा फ्रोजन रेन ड्रॉप्स एंड री फ्रोजन मेल्टेड स्नो वाटर इज देयर ऑन द ग्राउंड so when a layer of air with the temperature above freezing point overlies sub freezing layer near the ground precipitation takes place in the form of sleet now what happens in hail storm theek hai so in hail storm it happens in the tropical region dono mein difference dekhiye ye latitude higher latitude mein ho raha hai here it is happening in tropical region excess heating of the ground result into strong convection currents that result into a cumulonimbus cloud or thunderstorm formation in the tropical region now i will explain this concept here <clears throat> what is happening is suppose this is ground pay attention here and suppose इसके ऊपर जो है टेम्परेचर जीरो डिग्री सेल्सियस के नीचे जा रहा है सपोज एंड सपोज द क्लाउड इज फॉर्म हियर लाइक दिस क्यूमुलस क्लाउड सपोज आई एम गिविंग एग्जाम्पल नाउ वॉट वी ऑब्जर्व इज वेन द आइस क्रिस्टल्स आर फॉर्म हियर आई विल ड्रॉ आइस क्रिस्टल्स लाइक दिस ओके एंड द रेन ड्रॉप इन द लोअर पार्ट क्योंकि ये जीरो डिग्री से ज्यादा है नीचे के पार्ट में रेन ड्रॉप है okay now when the rain drops or ice crystals are falling down niche aa rahe rain drops ban rahe but the updraft due to convection is so strong that it does not allow these ice crystals to fall down theek hai to kya ho raha hai ice crystals becoming liquid drops and because of updraft they are again brought above the 0 degree celsius temperature uh, freezing below 0 degree celsius temperature again there is ice formation a layer of ice is form this is continued for long period of time to so, isse kya ho raha hai rain drop ban raha hai fir ice crystal ban raha rain drop form ho raha hai ice crystal to ek ke upar ek ek ke upar ek ice layer bante jata hai and once that becomes of enough size in its weight it overcomes the updraft aur fir shuru hota hai ole girna hail storm it comes at very fast speed now towards the earth surface theek hai aur wo pehle pahunchta hai har baad mein rain drops pahunchte hain kyunki weight तो कभी भी ओले गिरते हैं तो पहले ओले गिरते हैं और फिर बारिश होती है ना हैव यू ऑब्जर्व दिस क्योंकि उसका वेट ज्यादा है दे आर कमिंग फास्ट एज कंपेयर टू रेन ड्रॉप्स दिस इज द हेल स्टॉम फेन एंड इफ यू हैव सीन द हेल्स यू कैन सी दैट द आइस कवर इज इन अ कॉन्सेंट्रिक मैनर देखा है इस फेनोमेन की वजह से इज दिस क्लियर ओके अपड्राफ्ट बिकॉज ऑफ कन्वेक्शन स्ट्रॉन्ग हीटिंग ऑफ द ग्राउंड 
स्ट्रॉन्ग हीटिंग ऑफ द ग्राउंड ओके अपड्राफ्ट मतलब जो है विंड इज मूविंग विथ वेरी हाई स्पीड फ्रॉम द ग्राउंड टू अप and that will happen when the ground is excessively heating <coughs> types of rainfall yes we all know about this very simple when there is excess heating of the ground the wind is moving up through convection there is condensation there is pre precipitation this type of rainfall is called as convectional rainfall it is very common where yahan pe common hota hai इक्वेटोरियल रीजन एवरी डे आफ्टरनून रेन इन इक्वेटोरियल रीजन इज कॉल्ड एज कन्वेक्शनल रेन एवरी डे आफ्टरनून रेन इज देर इन इक्वेटोरियल रीजन वेरी कॉमन सो इट इज हैपनिंग बिकॉज ऑफ इंटेंसिव हीटिंग ऑफ द ग्राउंड एंड सब्सिक्वेंट कन्वेक्शन कंडेंसेशन रेनफॉल सेकेंड टाइप इज ओरोग्राफिक रेनफॉल ओरो मीन्स वॉट ओरो मीन्स माउंटेन्स डू यू रिमेंबर फर्स्ट लेक्चर oro means mountains now when there is obstruction of wind because of mountains what we observe is best example apna kya hai western ghats so southwest monsoon winds are coming like this from the arabian sea they are now climbing this western slope of western ghats when they are climbing they are becoming cooler and getting condensed and forming the clouds giving precipitation here as they are climbing they are becoming cooler and they are getting condensed and giving precipitation along the western slopes of western ghats this type of precipitation is called as orographic rainfall and that's why western margins of western ghats receive more rainfall as compared to eastern margins ye padha hai humne is reason se then the third type is cyclonic do not confuse this with tropical cyclone this we are talking here extra tropical cyclones extra tropical cyclone it is also called as frontal rain because of formation of fronts we we'll learn this in tomorrow's session formation of cyclones and all theek hai kafi time ho gaya hai kyunki kal के सेशन में ये भी कवर करेंगे एयर मासेस साइक्लोन्स एंड द रिमेनिंग फेनामिन ओके सो देयर आई विल एक्सप्लेन हाउ द रेनफॉल इज हैपनिंग बट एक्स्ट्रा ट्रॉपिकल साइक्लोन्स रिजल्ट इन टू रेनफॉल एंड दैट टाइप ऑफ रेनफॉल इज कॉल्ड एज साइक्लोनिक ओके इन ट्रॉपिकल साइक्लोन्स व्हाट काइंड ऑफ रेनफॉल वी ऑब्जर्व कन्वेक्शनल इन ट्रॉपिकल साइक्लोन कन्वेक्शनल रेनफॉल इज दैर ठीक है क्योंकि कन्वेक्शन हो रहा है वहां पर वेंड का fine okay global distribution of rainfall key points yes tell me yes of course in india northeastern hills meghalayan hills or western western slopes of western ghats they receive orographic rainfall even we can say southern slope of himalayas they receive orographic rainfall theek hai to ye aapko clearly pata hona chahiye ग्लोबल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सिंपल है काफी द रेनफॉल गोज ऑन डिक्रीजिंग फ्रॉम इक्वेटर टू पोल जनरल ऑब्जर्वेशन देर आफ्टर देर इज मोर रेनफॉल इन कोस्टल एरियाज एज कंपेयर टू इंटेरियर बिकॉज द ऑनशोर विंड्स ऑनशोर विंड्स ब्रिंग्स मॉइस्चर इमीजिएटली दे गिव रेनफॉल नियर द कोस्टल एरियाज सो मोर इन इंटेरियर देर इज डर्थ ऑफ वी कैन से दैट मॉइस्चर दैट्स वाई देर इज नो रेनफॉल नाउ the next we should understand that between latitude of 30 to 40 north and south of the equator the rain is heavier on the eastern coast and goes on decreasing towards west what is the reason assertion and reason type of question kyun ho raha hai between latitudes of 30 to 40 north and south of equator the rain is heavier on the eastern coast and goes on decreasing towards the west hmm yes but what which which wind direction we what kind of winds we have here and on the eastern coast only ha tropical easterlies or trade winds 
they are onshore on the eastern margins in that latitudes and they are onshore onshore they are coming from ocean to the land they bring moisture they give rainfall this rainfall goes on decreasing towards west exactly opposite of this between 45 to 65 north south due to westerlies the rainfall is first received on the western margins and goes on decreasing towards east already upc has asked question on these things now wherever the mountains run parallel to the coast the rain is greater on the coastal plains and windward side of those mountains like western slope of western ghats and decreases towards the leeward side eastern slope of east, uh, western ghats wo kam hote jata hai wahan pe theek hai so now you have understood this now this thunderstorm and tornado uh, very simple concept here itself we will understand thunderstorms are nothing but the extensive cumulonimbus clouds extensive cumulonimbus clouds form due to excessive heating of the ground surface form due to excessive heating of the ground surface now it may be associated with lightning thunderstorm or cumulonimbus clouds are associated with lightning i will explain the phenomenon of lightning separately but before that if suppose there is insufficient moisture in the thunderstorm it can create the dust storms okay it can create the dust storm dust storm jab hota hai to moisture nahi hota hai dry winds hoti hai okay and when there is moisture there is possibility of rainfall lightning and all these things now when this thunderstorm is formed on the water surface ocean surface that leads to formation of water sprouts theek hai water surface pe jab banega to wo usse kya hota hai water sprouts <coughs> thunderstorm ka ek variant hai tornado tornado jab water surface pe tayar hota tayar hota hai to ab isme difference kya hai tornado aur thunderstorm mein let's understand that एक माइन्यूट डिफरेंस है द डिफरेंस इज दैट देर इज स्पाइरलिंग विंड डिसेंडिंग लाइक अ ट्रंक ऑफ एन एलिफेंट विथ ग्रेट फोर्स विथ वेरी लो प्रेशर एट द सेंटर कॉजिंग मासिव डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑन इट्स वे दिस इज वेरी कॉमन इन यूएस टोर्नेडो ठीक है एंड दिस इज लार्जली फॉर्म ऑन द लैंड सर्फेस टोर्नेडो उसको बोलते हैं वाटर के ऊपर बनेगा तो उसको वाटर स्प्राउट बोलते हैं ठीक है वाटर स्पाउट नॉट स्प्राउट स्पाउट ओके सो वेन वेन एवर देर इज टोर्नेडो जनरली देर इज एडवाइस गिवन दैट यू रिमेन इन हाउस क्योंकि ये इतना स्ट्रांग होता है जो भी आएगा उसको वो स्पायरल में वो ऊपर लेके जाता है ऐसे है ना बहुत सारे मूवीज में भी दिखाया होगा हॉलीवुड के टोर्नेडो यस yes. so I was explaining you this concept of lightning क्योंकि ये बहुत सारे student को ठीक से नहीं समझता है lightning वाला aspect <coughs> suppose this is ground and it is having the positive charge on the ground suppose and here let's say the cloud is formed here there is cloud now what we observe is generally the upper part is having this positive charge and we can say that the the bottom part is having negative charge of the cloud kyun hota hai kaise hota hai hame nahi janna hai theek hai now whenever there is sufficient charge is created it leads to potential high potential the more the charge the more potential it is creating and when there is potential difference created that is the positive charge and negative charge the potential difference that leads to flow of electricity ye positive charge or ye negative charge ya fir ye negative charge ye positive charge is tarike se flow of charge shuru ho jata hai when this charge tries to reach to the ground we say that lightning has fallen on the ground otherwise a lot of exchange of charge is happening already in the atmosphere among these clouds very few of it comes on the ground very few of it comes on the ground and very rare of it falls on the human or let's say cattle 
तो आप देखते होंगे कि लाइटनिंग से बहुत सारे कैटल की डेथ होती है लोगों को भी डेथ होता है बहुत बार एंड मेनी टाइम्स वी कम अक्रॉस द न्यूज दैट द लॉस ऑफ लाइफ एंड कैटल इज हैपनिंग मोर इन बिहार यूपी एंड वेस्ट बंगाल हाँ हाँ ट्री ट्री तो ठीक है ट्री के नीचे नहीं रुकना रहता है ठीक है वो तो एक डोंट डू एंड डोंट्स वाला जो वार्निंग होता है इसके लिए सर फर्स्ट लाइट कम्स देन द थंडर इज हर्ट ऑफ कोर्स लाइट का स्पीड ज्यादा होता है साउंड की स्पीड से हम स्कूल में पढ़ते हैं ना राइट लाइट स्पीड इज मोर देन द स्पीड ऑफ साउंड दैट्स वाई सात आठ सेकंड के बाद हमें सुनाई देता है दैट इज वेरी क्लियर यस वाई बिहार एंड दैट रीजन मोर डेथ आर देयर मेरी सिंपल है थोड़ा लॉजिक यूज करिए एक तो ये है कि डेंसली पॉपुलेटेड है और दूसरा है एग्रीकल्चर कम्युनिटी है एग्रीकल्चर जब होगा दे लिव इन फार्म्स फॉर फार्मिंग एक्टिविटीज एंड व्हेन दे लिव इन फार्म्स दे लिव इन ओपन स्पेसेस लार्जली दे लिव इन ओपन स्पेसेस नॉट इन कंक्रीट हाउसेस ठीक है कंक्रीट हाउस में नहीं रहते हैं वो ज्यादातर ठीक है कच्चा घर रहता है मर्ड का बनाया हुआ या जो ट्री ब्रांचेस होते हैं एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट मोर चांसेस कि वो डेथ होता है ठीक है फार्मिंग कम्युनिटी फार्मिंग ऑक्यूपेशन इज द मेजर ऑक्यूपेशन देर मेन कंसर्न ये है एंड द सेकेंड थिंग यू शुड रिमेंबर इज दैट द लाइटनिंग फेनामिनॉन इज ऑल्सो फ्रिक्वेंट इन दैट रीजन वाई because of foothills of himalayas north mein himalayas hai theek hai aur uski wajah se kya hota hai obstruction of all these winds and the winds are going up and because of that orographic rainfall kind of situation is created condensation is prominent to wahan pe thunderstorm and lightning is jo monsoon ka rain hota hai is tarike se hota hai बट प्रोमिनेंट रीजन इज दिस वन नो कि दे आर एक्सपोज टू दिस लाइटनिंग लाइटनिंग इज ओमनी प्रेजेंट इट इज प्रेजेंट एवरीवेयर बट द डेथ्स आर हैपनिंग देयर बिकॉज कैटल का भी डेथ ज्यादा होता है फार्मिंग और फार्मर्स का भी डेथ ज्यादा होता है यू कैन सी इट इज नॉट हैपनिंग इन द सिटीज इन बिहार पटना में डेथ नहीं होता है अफकोर्स ठीक है रूरल एरिया में होता है बिकॉज ऑफ दिस रीजन ठीक है so now you have understood all these things it cyclone aur wo sab cheez hum kal dekhte hain now let's solve some mcqs Yes. Is it visible? Okay. फटाफट hmm. okay. चलो सॉल्व करो अभी यस क्या होना चाहिए आंसर सी इज करेक्ट सो यस ए इज ट्रू बट आर इज फॉल्स यस दैट इज ट्रू वी कैन से दैट बिकॉज वॉट वी ऑब्जर्व हियर थिकनेस ऑफ द ट्रोपोस्फेयर इज ग्रेटर इन इक्वेटर एज कंपेयर टू पोल्स बट दिस इज नॉट द रीजन राइट वॉट इज द रीजन ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स इज मोर एट द पोल्स एज कंपेयर टू इक्वेटर सो सॉरी यस ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स इज मोर एट द पोल्स एज कंपेयर टू इक्वेटर दिस इज ऑल्सो ट्रू 
दिस इज ऑल्सो ट्रू सॉरी दोनों स्टेटमेंट सही है बट क्या वो उसका एक्सप्लेनेशन है नहीं है ना सो लुक एट द सेकेंड ऑप्शन लुक एट द सेकेंड ऑप्शन बोथ ए एंड आर आर ट्रू बट आर इज नॉट द करेक्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ ए सो वी शुड बी वेरी मच क्लियर वेदर देर इज एनी कॉज एंड इफेक्ट फिनमिना ओके रीजन एंड असोशन सो द रीजन फॉर दिस इज द स्ट्रॉन्ग कन्वेक्शन हैपनिंग ड्यू टू मोर हीट इज रिसीव नियर द इक्वेटर एंड दैट्स वाई ट्रोपोस्फेयर का थिकनेस जो है ज्यादा है फाइन बताओ क्यों है एक, uh, पोल्स के यहां पे क्यों है अर्थ का शेप कैसा है ऑबलाइड है ना मतलब ऐसा भी नहीं है बट यहां पे फ्लैट है ठीक है और ये जो है इक्वेटर तो सेंटर से ये डिस्टेंस जो है ना ये कम है ठीक है और ये डिस्टेंस ज्यादा है सो दैट्स वाई द वैल्यू ऑफ जी वैल्यू ऑफ जी इज इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू आर ऐसा हम पढ़ते हैं क्या फिजिक्स में हाँ ठीक है आर या आर स्क्वायर अब मुझे याद नहीं आ रहा है तो हाँ आर स्क्वायर ठीक है तो वो आर स्क्वायर तो ये इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल है ना तो वेन एवर द रेडियस इज लेस जी इज वो ओके सो दैट लॉजिक यू हैव टू यूज हियर फाइन यस व्हाट शुड बी आंसर हियर We have to find the correct statement. <coughs> yes, other students. Although we have not learned about cyclone, but you may have this idea, no? Cyclone is because of convection. The movement of wind is convection, not advection. Advection is horizontal movement. ओके सो मूवमेंट ऑफ लैंड एंड सी ब्रीज इज बिकॉज ऑफ एडवेक्शन एंड द कन्वेक्शन ट्रॉपिकल साइक्लोन ये इंटरचेंज किया है सो आंसर शुड बी वन ओनली ए ये सर ने नहीं पढ़ाया है और हमने भी नहीं पढ़ा है हम्म There are many isos which are not given in NCERTs. ठीक है, so isotherms, isobars, isohydes, isoneps, और क्या है एक isohel, और iso iso height हो गया. ठीक है सैलिनिटी वाला एक है आई एम नॉट रिमेम्बरिंग सैलिनिटी वाला क्या है ओके आइसोथर्म्स टेम्परेचर आइसोबार्स प्रेशर द लाइन ज्वाइनिंग द पॉइंट्स हैविंग इक्वल प्रेशर सेम प्रेशर सेम टेम्परेचर आइसोहाइट्स क्लाउड सॉरी रेनफॉल आइसोहाइट्स इज रिलेटेड टू रेनफॉल आइसोनेफ क्लाउड क्लाउडीनेस ओके देन वॉट वी हैव आइसोहेट्स आइसोहेट्स कहा गया तो आइसो हेल आइसो हेल है ये सॉरी सनशाइन वाला है ड्यूरेशन ऑफ सनशाइन तो ये जो आइसो हेल वाला है ये है ड्यूरेशन ऑफ सनशाइन आइसो नेफ वाला जो है वो क्लाउडीनेस वाला है डिग्री ऑफ क्लाउड आइसो हेट वाला जो है वो रिमेंबर दिस एंड ऑल ऑफ दिस आर गिवन इन जी सी सर बोल रहे थे पढ़ो मत और फिर बोल रहे कि पढ़ो ठीक है देखो एक बार तो आप पढ़ ही लेते हो ना तो क्या इंपॉर्टेंट है वो हमें पता होना चाहिए यूपीसी हैज आस्क क्वेश्चन ऑन दिस इन पास्ट इन प्रिलिम्स ठीक है इसका मीनिंग पता होना चाहिए हर एक का सो वी हैव बीन आस्क इन करेक्टली मैच सो ऑल ऑफ देम आर इन करेक्टली मैच ठीक है
Yes. सर ने स्टेटमेंट ऐसे बनाया है कि कंफ्यूज हो रहा है अभी यूपीसी भी ऐसे ही फ्रेमिंग करेगा स्टेटमेंट ओके लैटिट्यूडनल प्लेसेस ऑन द अर्थ रिसीव कंपैरेटिवली लेस सोलर इंसुलेशन व्हाई the higher latitude the higher the latitude more is the angle of sun rays making with the surface of the earth angle more hota hai less hota hai ha this is earth surface the angle made ye chhota hota hai ya ye chhota hota hai oblique angle is less no this is 90 degree This is 90 डिग्री ये एंगल कम कम होते हुए जीरो बन जाता है यहाँ पे पोल पे अंडरस्टूड सो फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इज इन करेक्ट एज लैटिट्यूड इंक्रीजेस नेट एनर्जी रिसीव पर यूनिट एरिया इंक्रीजेस वी सेट दैट इट डिक्रीजेस नो डू यू रिमेंबर द स्टेटमेंट पर यूनिट एरिया पर यूनिट पर स्क्वेयर किलोमीटर पर मीटर स्क्वेयर मीटर रिड्यूसेस इंक्रीजेस नहीं है ये गलत है then in higher latitude energy is lost due to more atmospheric absorption scattering and diffusion that is true because the sun rays has to pass longer distances into the atmosphere there will be more absorption more scattering and diffusion so third statement is correct and that's why heat is comparatively less third statement correct hai reason ke liye so answer should be nahi samjhe first statement the higher the latitude the more is the angle sun rays make with the surface of the earth ye dekhiye ye earth hai yahan pe jo hai equator hai yahan pe 90 degree poles hai sun rays are falling like this suppose near the equator what is the angle it is making with the earth surface 90 degree as we move towards the higher latitude what is it is reducing right छोटा छोटा हो रहा है एंगल अर्थ सरफेस के साथ में ये स्टेटमेंट उसका उल्टा बोल रहा है देखो द हायर द लैटिट्यूड मोर इज द एंगल राधर इट शुड बी लेस द एंगल इट इज मेकिंग अंडरस्टूड चलिए नेक्स्ट ओके नेक्स्ट पेज ओके फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन Hmm. Yes, what should be the answer? B. Frost formation. Everyone? Okay. So yes, B should be the answer. I guess everyone will get this right now. Next. Read the question properly. Inadequate information should not be the barrier to get the right answer in this examination. हमने ट्रॉपिकल साइक्लोन का नहीं पढ़ा है अब तक बट दैट शुड नॉट बी बैरियर टू अटेम्प्टिंग दिस क्वेश्चन एज अ राइट आंसर ठीक है क्या है आंसर डी B second one. See, it is talking about phenomenon is not due to effect. Not मतलब ये effect नहीं है. See deflection of wind to the right in northern hemisphere, left to the southern. यो तो है. Deflection of ocean current to the left. वो भी right को ही होता है. In northern hemisphere. And left to the southern hemisphere. Left in the southern hemisphere. It is incorrect statement. Now there is meandering of river when it enters into the plain. That is because of Coriolis force. No, formation of tropical cyclone. One of the important condition 
प्री रिक्विजिट फॉर फॉर्मेशन ऑफ ट्रॉपिकल साइक्लोन इज प्रेजेंस ऑफ कोरियल फोर्स अदरवाइज देर विल नॉट बी फॉर्मेशन ऑफ ट्रॉपिकल साइक्लोन एंड दैट्स वाई ट्रॉपिकल साइक्लोन आर नॉट फॉर्म एट द इक्वेटर बिकॉज देर इज नो कोरियल इज फोर्स एट द इक्वेटर यस नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अच्छा वही है क्या क्या हुआ अच्छा आंसर लिख दिया है चलो ये वैसे भी साइक्लोन्स का है तो कल डील करते हैं उसको लुक एट दिस क्वेश्चन एक की वर्ड ढूंढने का उससे आंसर आना चाहिए सी वेन आई से क्यूमुलेनिम्बस क्लाउड थंडर स्टॉम देर इज नो क्लाउड फॉर्मेशन इन टोर्नेडो वाई यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट टोर्नेडो थंडर स्टॉम मतलब क्यूमुलेनिम्बस क्लाउड बस ये दिमाग में रखना है ठीक है सो that keyword you have to identify whenever there is description no there is there are four five sentences but you have to identify one keyword one sentence that matches to the answer and that matches to your own information maybe you are not knowing about the other two three sentences theek hai okay Yes. What should be the answer? Incorrectly matched, right? So, orographic rainfall, mountainous region, convectional rainfall, equatorial region, frontal rainfall, no tropical region. Rather, it is happening in subtropical temperate region. Where do we have extra tropical cyclones? In 60, 65 north and south. So, there we have. We can say that. frontal rainfall all right yes B, yes, two and three. First statement is incorrect. No, for frost it should be less than freezing point, below freezing point. For fog it should be above. Uh, sorry, for dew formation it should be above freezing point. Mist contains more moisture than fog. That is true. And fog and mist are suspended in the atmosphere. We all have may have experience about this. Dew and frost is. on the surface so 2 and 3 is correct yes all right types of climate we have not learned yet so we will skip this question climate change wala bhi theek hai hum kal dekhte hain yes A. Yes, the Earth as a whole does not accumulate or lose the heat. The latitudinal variation in the net radiation balances the heat budget of the Earth. True, and both reason and assertion. Yes, that is true. ठीक है. और भी क्वेश्चंस हैं. चलो. बहुत सारा प्रैक्टिस हो रहा है आपका. First statement. it is talking that the earth as a whole does not accumulate the heat or lose the heat completely 
सिंपली इट इज बैलेंसिंग द हिट जितना आ रहा है उतना वापस स्पेस में भेज दे रहा है इट इज सिंपली बैलेंसिंग दैट हिट एंड दैट बैलेंस हैपन्स बिकॉज ऑफ लैटिट्यूडनल हीट बजट नो वी लर्न अबाउट दैट सरप्लस हीट इज ट्रांसफर टू द डेफिसिट रीजन सरप्लस रीजन डेफिसिट रीजन ट्रांसफर हो रहा है विंड मूवमेंट ओशन वाटर मूवमेंट थ्रू ओशन करंट सो दैट पार्ट यस आगरा एंड दार्जिलिंग आर लोकेटेड ऑन द सेम लैटिट्यूड बट टेम्परेचर इन जनवरी इन आगरा इज सिक्सटीन डिग्री सेल्सियस वेर एज इट्स ओनली फोर डिग्री सेल्सियस इन दार्जिलिंग वेरी सिंपल टेम्परेचर डिक्रीजेस विथ इंक्रीज इन अल्टीट्यूड ओके सो ए इज करेक्ट आंसर हाँ ठीक है क्लाइमेट uh, टाइप का हम कल डील करते हैं ओके सो ए एंड आर बोथ आर ट्रू एंड आर इज करेक्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ ए यस दैट इज ट्रू ठीक है ये भी हम स्किप कर सकते हैं लुक एट दिस यस पेरी हेलियॉन मार्क्स द कोल्ड क्लाइमेट इन द नदर्न इंडिया दैट इज ट्रू ठीक है पेरी हेलियॉन नियर डू यू रिमेंबर द डायग्राम ओके पेरी अपन आर रिजल्ट ऑफ चेंजेस this is not result rather it is result of what elliptical movement revolution of the earth around the sun in a elliptical path and the tilted axis we can say that is the reason so it is incorrect a answer hona chahiye isme theek hai okay so i hope that your doubts are clear the first step towards achieving your dreams is having the right coach get the best education with lokman ias and make your upsc dreams come true Download the app now